Welcome to another episode of the Grappling With Life podcast. Today I'm joined with Jahidu from Wapping, but also you might know him from pulling himself up onto a bar. <laughs> on a mad, I, you know how you know how I first come across you, Jahidu. I want to go get straight into it. Go on, bro. So I was on Instagram, yeah, and I see some guy climbing down some ladder, bro. <laughs> off, <laughs> off. Of uh, what? Where was it? But it looked like City Airport, but I'm sure I'm sure it wasn't, bro. It wasn't. It was the basin, right? So basically, where we train, yeah, the park. And yeah, there's like the basin and the River Thames on the other side. That's correct. So I saw yeah. you climbing. I said, "What's this guy doing, bro?" Then he starts to proceed to make himself horizontal <laughs> across <laughs> did this across the thing, and yeah. I was like, "Well, I had to. I watched it about five. I must have contributed to about at least seven views." Yeah. On your Instagram, bro. At and least, love, yeah. You, you know how the real replay is in yeah, it. I was like, yeah. Nana, how did he do this? And then I'm thinking, where, which muscle is he using? I was like, Subhanallah. I'm just trying to think if my six foot, was it, 100 kilos or something? Tried to do that, I'd probably snap off my arms, bro. I saw nah. one video, Jahidu, of this guy. He was doing, you know, the when they make their body straight, but their arms behind them. The planch, full planch. Is that what it's called? Yeah. But not in front of the back, like that, yeah? Back lever. Oh, I don't know. Back lever, But yeah. his elbows both popped out, bruv. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's what nice scares thing. me. When I saw you do that, I was thinking... Yeah. You know what it is? You would do it when you're confident in yourself. Yeah. Like, alhamdulillah, if you feel like you're conditioned enough, this, yeah. like, then go for it. If you're like struggling on like five pull-ups, yeah. and try to go for a human Which flag. Which is me, by the way. <laughs> nah, but yeah. as in, yeah, and like, you try to go for a human flag, I yeah. would advise you not to do that. Yeah. Because eventually, you know, you would. That'd be good advice yourself. as well. Bro. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's like that. So, you have to respect the sport at the same yeah. time. So, like, for example, human fly is an advanced. Yeah. It's an advanced move. So, you're going to have to build that strength and be conditioned yeah. at a certain point to do that, inshallah. So, so I, I want to ask this, because it, I always like to hear, how, how the hell do you even, firstly, how do you get involved in all this? Yeah. Everyone's got their origin story. Yeah. yeah. And why? So he started, why, I'll say why first. Why? Because okay. I was always short and skinny back then. So okay. when I was in secondary school, I was short, skinny. I used to kick a lot of football, play a lot of football, just bare cardio. So I was bare flying, no muscles, no nothing. And then, yeah, so that was one of my things. I'm like, yo, let me, I want to put on size, gain a bit of strength, you know. But why? Just like, I feel like, as Muslim, we should be strong, man. So I had that from young. I'm like, yo, I want to be strong. Not like just to, you know, have that ego, egoistic thing, you know, yeah. be better than others, you know, walk around with muscles, all of that. Because when we were at that college, that's when a lot of young brothers start going gym, you know, mm. that college, yeah, first yeah. year of college, you know, where, you get you your know, gym card. And that's then it, that's it yeah. man. So I did do that for a week, but then I didn't enjoy it. I'm like, what's gym, man? You know, curling, yeah. bicep curls, all of that. I didn't enjoy it, man. And then one day, this is what, like, proper got to me. So I was, <laughs> I was at my nan's house, yeah, and all my uncles and all my cousins were there. And I was with my little brother. And my little brother, naturally, he's... How, how much younger is he? So then? he's two years younger. Okay, right. But naturally, you know, he's genetically gifted. He has Allah natural Allah. eyes, Allah Allah, you know, chisel, chest, all that. He already has that without training. And obviously, like, there when all the, you know, cousins and uncles are together, we're all training, doing weights and that. And everyone back the top of always to my brother. They're like, yo, your younger brother is bigger than you, you know, all of that stuff. I was like, well, yeah. Well, one second. I don't need to stop you right there, bro. Yeah. What kind of party was this, bro? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? What's going on there, there bro? Thing. You know, you just get gas. Man, I want to know where did you find the weights? So my, my uncles and dad, they have weights in the house. All right. And, so you know, was it a cousin, proper house? Or? Yeah, it's a house, and obviously they have bare weights. Like my uncles right. in the old school, they just have bare weights, right, bare right, barbell. Right. So all of that. And Shout out to your uncles, bro. Yeah, yeah, mashallah. So <laughs> I want to uncles bolo as yeah. well. I'm about so we was all training, and we were young back then. I was probably about um, eighteen. Okay. Eighteen, seventeen. Yeah. And yeah, we just start training, and obviously, naturally, they're looking at my brother's physique, and they're like, "Yo, your young brother has, like, it was obviously a they body shamed yeah, you, yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. them thing there, innit? <laughs> so I always at the at the moment, I'm like, yeah, I don't care, and like, yeah, my younger brother, I'm happy, my but inside, I'm like, yo, I can't be letting this yeah. happen, bro. I'm my younger brother, you know, all of that, mashallah. And then eventually, I'm like, yo, I need to start training, man, because I've already thought about that before, like, you know, I'm skinny already, this, that, short. And then my uncle saying this, that. So I'm like, yo, let me start training. Because I stopped playing football then as well. So I had bare free time. And then eventually my, my younger brother, he bought a pull-up bar at home. You know the one you stick on your door? The, the hook. Yeah, the frame one, yeah, the yeah. one you put on your door. Oh, he yeah, bought yeah. that for 15 pounds. Literally bought that the next day. He was so gassed. He's like, yeah, yeah, man's going to get bolo. He bought that the next day. And then, yeah, he started training. I'm like, yeah, man, let me join. I started training as well. Back then I used to struggle on like three pull-ups, like five push-ups. 
And then we was both doing it f- like together for a week, and then eventually like he lost the motivation, he stopped. But alhamdulillah, I kept it consistent for like two, three months straight. And then I was gaining strength, gained a bit of size. I was proper ripped up. And then yeah, like everyone's like, yo, like, mashallah, man, your your body's changing, strong. And this is when I came across Shaquille on that. Shaquille, his, uh, my other boys, um, a few other brothers picked them up. Lukman, Amino, I came across them on Instagram, IG. And these brothers, man, like, you should kill you, you've seen his muscle yeah, loss in there. And back then, no one was doing that in, in ends. Like, no yeah. one knew what calisthenics was. When I, was. when I used to tell some of my friends in college, yeah, man's doing calisthenics, they're like, what is that? I'm like, yeah, yeah body weight pull-ups. like a that. drug, bro. Yeah, I'm like, well, <laughs> legit, they're like, what is that? Even till now, certain yeah. people get confused. But back then, it was worse. So, like, yo, what is that? I'm like, yeah, body weight pull-ups, push-ups, muscle ups like, Bro, can you even build muscle with that? You know, people yeah. should basically like down, down, like look down on it. And I'm like, rough. I'm saying that, and I'm just gonna do my own thing. You man, do your thing, and yeah, man. From there, I kept them consistent, train by myself. Um, Shadow Basin, where I train, and literally b- back then, now is a nice. You look probably see it's nice red bars, but back then it was literally one bar on the wall, and there was you know the ladder I do the human flag on. Yeah. I used to do dips on that ladder, right. so I used to literally go by myself, age of 18, like. Three, four hours after work, around 9, 10 p.m., just train them. I'm by myself, by myself. But I just thought night and over. I used to just train for the sake of it. I enjoyed it. I was gaining strength, size. It was just like a mental thing for me. Because back then, alhamdulillah, I never used to, even now, sorry, I never smoked, never drank. Yeah, so that was kind of my type of, like, you know, mental stress, like, relief in it. Like, I'll go there and do my thing. Whereas some of my boys, you know, they would be, like, smoking or drinking. Yeah. I wasn't about that. So yeah. me, when I kind of had, like, my issues, I'll go there and sue out there. By myself, so alhamdulillah, that's how I kind of started, man. Just by myself, just build up, and that's it. Kept them consistent ever since, alhamdulillah. <laughs> so, um, because I, like I said to you before, I worked in Thomas for a long time, and um, I've seen, I've been to Wapping, I've, I used to go to the estates, you know, chat to the young people over there, try to get them, you know, outreach, yeah, outreach, yeah. yeah. So, I work sure. with, I work with, uh, you know, Osmani Trust for yeah, a little yeah. while, and all the guys in, um, oh, sure. Sh- oh, subhanallah, I forgot that. Gang, in, gang in, uh, initiative, I forgot what it's called. There's a, there's a group of brothers that have a, like a specific. Um, they go and speak to young people over there. And we did. But I was actually surprised that that amount of delinquency there is, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like people just doing nothing, bro. Yeah, man. Um, and it's it's bad because the amount of messages there are out there. The amount of the amount you look at East London Mosque, one of the, I heard it's one of the biggest mosques in Europe. Europe, right? yeah, it is. One so of the you think of a, a building and every Ramadan. I know this is not just me, not this. And I'm just gonna be real, bro. Hundred. Uh, they, I'm a one Ramadan. I went to pray there, bro, and they closed the doors. Oh, we're not letting anyone. It was a joke, bro. But we're not letting anyone out until you, you know, donate money and all yeah, this stuff. Yeah. And you know, I'm not saying don't donate to the masjid, but it's just a building, bro. Do you get true, me? Yeah. Like what? I'm, and, and again, I'm not saying there's a lot of work to be done, but it's about building people in it. And if if there's people shotting outside the masjid, literally, you go outside the Maryam Center, you look left and you look right at a specific time, you're gonna see people crackheads walking around, yeah, all this yeah, stuff, mad, man. which is not good, bro. Yeah. Um, and I was really surprised. And th- there's a lot of brothers that do very good work there, bro. I'm not, I'm not. Sure but then there's always gonna be need, need more and. More. and and sometimes the masjid is not able to do everything, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Nah, it's true, bro. So, like, for you at that age, at 18, yeah, to be able to think to yourself, you know what, I'm going to do this thing to keep me out of... Because obviously, you know, you hit yeah. 18, 19... It's that age, man. That's the wild... Like, this is it. Age. This yeah, is it, bro. That's when the temptation hits. Exactly. So you got the line, that girls, world. everything. alcohol. alcohol. I, I was surprised I'm out. Alcohol consumption, alcohol abuse. It's mad, bro. Drug abuse. You know, um, so which is which is crazy, bro. Yeah. So anything to kind of take you outside of that, alhamdulillah, which is yeah. alhamdulillah good, bro. So okay, so you start because obviously you, 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 I'm guessing, how did you know what to do? So you ate it. Okay, there's pull ups, there's dips, and then what? What else? Like if you That's, look at like the core yeah, movements in calisthenics, yeah, what are they? There's a lot of stuff calisthenics, but obviously the foundation would be pull ups, dips, push ups. Yeah. That's yeah. And a so bit outside of that. of that, so how did you know, like? How to build your t- training program? Is it did you go online? Is it did you reach out to people? How, how did it work? So again, man, like YouTube helped a lot, man. So again, you know how you're talking about them New York brothers. Yes. So like a lot of them helped with my training. I like, so just watch videos, man. Just do your own research, your yeah. own. You have to obviously like seek knowledge as well at the same time. So yeah. obviously I was doing that. 
Again, Shakil was about then, so I used to ask him a couple of times, can I train with him? He's a little bit older than you. He is, he's like a year older. Okay. But back then, he was like, he was like five years older, probably. Yeah, <laughs> At the age of year. 15, yeah, this <laughs> brother, oh my name. We had, had no beer, no nothing, bro. This guy, you know how he looked when he came here? Yeah, with you? he, he looked, looked like same, that bro. at 15. Yeah, yeah well, just probably a bit leaner, but I was on my brother, like, <laughs> So he looked old from there, innit? Mashallah. So yeah, like he had a bit of guidance from him, Aminu, look my other friends. So yeah, just legit, bro. Like, do your own research, YouTube. Obviously, you're not going to be a teacher like you know the best straight away still gonna be like there's yeah. gonna be flaws you know at yeah. the same time you're gonna you're always learning even till now bro alhamdulillah like this it's been like what four years into training now four or five years i'm still learning like about calisthenics i'm yeah. still learning about new things but alhamdulillah i take it as a blessing and certain people will have ego they know everything they know this because they've been in the game four or five years but with me i'm always like always learn man i'll like, always ask for help if i need it you know always seek knowledge so that's why i would actually look on youtube some insta videos ask people ask pe- athletes that are you know higher than me that are stronger than me that's it bro and that way i kind of build my own little thing yeah. you get knowledge of everyone then you find your own little style to it as well add your own little style and from there it goes man alhamdulillah alhamdulillah so um <coughs> So you, you get to this point now where you've got, now you're rolling with these people now. You've got guys that are doing calisthenics. What's that like? Because I, I watch the videos and I know, but what's online is not what is on, what, yeah. like. You can make a video and make, yourself, make, make the whole situation look better than it is. Yeah. yeah? Do you 100, understand? 100, so yeah. what's, it, what's the community like? You know, it's, bro, so the normal calisthenics scene, yeah. so with the kuffars, yeah. the non-Muslims and the Muslims, yeah. like it is one of the best community out there when it comes to fitness wise mm. so compared to weightlifters powerlifters you know any other athletes what what what, dif- what differentiates them between like, like i feel shakur said it last time i like everyone just helping each other like i'm not gonna say that there's no ego because there is ego yeah. like that's one thing that's that one of the main yeah. things i want to touch upon later on yeah so yeah. I, we would come to that there is ego but compared to other for example you know when you go to gym or like this that you just see bare brothers staring at you fam like mm. Like, even if you're skinny as hell, one brother just look at you like, he's the guy, bro. I'm like, wow, he's staring at me. Yeah. But when it comes to calisthenics, for example, when we're in a park and that, imagine someone needs help. Like, so I'll be like, yo, do this this way. Like, in that way... But why is it like that, though? That's the thing. Because it's the same thing, right? Yeah. You're, you're building your body. So the thing is, like, if when I compare it to combat sports, yeah? Because we have the same problem in combat sports. Yeah. Don't get it twisted, bro. 100%. Yeah? It's everywhere, bro. Everywhere, yeah? It's everywhere. Um, but if you look at... And this is something that me and... Uh, all the coaches at Legion and stuff will always worry about this, bro. Because you've got young people coming in and you're training them to be killers, bro. Yeah, that's the real and truly combat sports is 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 a martial art. Martial meaning yeah. to the death. Well, yeah? Legit, well, yeah, that's yeah. what it is. And calisthenics, bodybuilding, all that stuff, you're building your body and you're building your physique. Does that make sense? And it comes with this um, it does. mentality, right? Now, if you look at, it, obviously you're gonna you're gonna get people in your group that are gonna you you don't know what they meant what what, what they you like. don't know anyone's intention you don't know what what okay oh my god he's done there, there's there's competition there's being a friendly competition rivalry and there's hazard and and, and jealousy and and all this yeah, stuff bro. and especially amongst young the older you get. And sometimes even older guys, bro. It gets like that, bro. Oh, but, yeah. but within younger younger men, there's more. it's because it's raw, isn't it? You just got into this power, bro. You just yeah. found out what your body can do. Do you get me? 100%, man. So how do you guys manage all that, bro? Because Allah Mubarak, I saw you guys in, in... I say I saw you guys. It was a, it was a YouTube video. I yeah. wasn't there yet, but... Um, it's calm. That's the goal, isn't it? Make you feel like you're there, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's <laughs> it, bro. But like, how do you manage? Because you've got a big responsibility, bro. You've got a, a bunch of guys. Yeah, bro. And especially you're all united on the la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, bro. And that's yeah. important, bro. Yeah. But how do you maintain, how do you try and keep everyone humble, bro? Like, and that's it, that's important. You know, it is hard, isn't it? But alhamdulillah, again, Dean plays a big part, bro. Like, I would say that Dean plays a big part. And I'm not going to say all of us, but most of us in that group, alhamdulillah, like, we're on the same page when it comes to Dean. And again, we're just on the same page for most stuff. So even when it comes to like being humble, like we always talk about it. Like then you just have to talk, talk about the dean, talk about training, what to do, what not to do. And like for like remember who you're training for. Like mm. you're training like for yourself. Like don't train to show off. Don't train for the yes. All of, like we yeah. talk about them stuff. So that's the thing you have to do. You have to communicate with your group. But with how your do you brothers. deal with someone? So imagine you, you. I'm pretty sure you've been training for a while. You've yeah, seen bro. it, bro. Yeah. Um, like. 
you see someone is getting a bit too gassed, bro. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, I haven't had that yet. You bro. haven't had that, but you will. I it, promise will. you, you will, bro. Will. Because the more people start to come train with you, yeah, the more you will start to see different. Yeah, yeah, and then, sometimes they don't mean it, bro. I know sometimes, but sometimes they need to be. You know us, like we're, we're not the most like ruthless when it comes to that. For example, Alhamdulillah, already when like we have a lot of youngsters coming to us already. Alhamdulillah, where we train a lot of youngsters, a lot of brothers from Lute and a lot of brothers like across the country, bro. Like Alhamdulillah, we get a lot of. Like, you know, people coming there just to train, alhamdulillah. And already them people, I know not all of them, like, on the dean or, like, you know, all of that, but alhamdulillah, they have that respect there. So even if they come and just shows that, like, show the respectful side is enough on the right, other side. So that's when people come there, they kind of change their mindset. Because the environment is exactly. like, they have, to, like, they have like, to change their... It's basically, yeah. like, for example, if you go to, like, like your your place, the grapple, what is the grapple? No, that's the... Uh, I mean, Legion. What's your Legion, Legion, yeah. Legion gym, mashallah, that's a solid gym. It's like, there is just... Aki's bro Like most time yeah. If someone goes there Who's not Aki He will make sure To have that respect And yeah. like not Be like you lot But like Try adjust to you lot yeah. So that's how it is when, when it comes to us Like so far We haven't got any Not waste man But we haven't got people Like that yeah. yet Alhamdulillah And even when it comes to Our boys and that This is where we get involved Like we're gonna have to Chat to them like Yo like what are you on man mm. We have this persona People think Can look us in a good way But you're doing this You're moving buki So is that, it's gonna be To a point We're gonna cut you off yeah. Either you pattern up, you know, this, that. If not, it gets to that. So that's yeah. what it is. Again, it's the dean. Like, stay true to the dean. Stay true to yourself, man. Do everything with the right it, intention. Uh, even, even if you look at... Even people are practicing, bro. It can, yeah, it can happen. Because just because someone is, prays five times a day... It doesn't fast, mean nothing, bro. It yeah. do, it, it's, it's through your actions, isn't it? And, and we all have Action to check ourselves, clock, bro. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, you, you got to always check it. You can't say that, you know, I'm on the day and that's it, bro. I'm done. Nah, nah, it's Do hard, you get bro. Me? We get, like, if anything, you get tested more. Exactly. Like, for example, bro, I'll say, like, I'll, like for me, with my social media, everything, I get tested, like, every day, bro, every few days. I want to see your DMs, blood. <laughs> you can look at it, bro. I've got a line, bro. You can look at it. Like, I know you delete them, bro. Let me nah, try it. Nah. It's all just, you know, the requested one. Yeah, it's yeah, just there, delete bro. that, bro. Like, just, yeah. like, it's all yeah. there. And, like, yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm like, that way. Yeah, I'm alhamdulillah, calm, alhamdulillah. So, yeah, legit, bro. Like, with me, again, bro, it's just deen, man. Deen, salah, every... Every salat I just purify my intention. Like, that's important. Yeah. I, you're right. At the same time, even like for ourselves, for my, like for myself, my you know my intention could go straight, bro. Like and you don't see it happening, bro. You, you won't, bro. Like until, until the next and, week, and, and, until yeah. you're like you're doing something buki, and like yeah. wow, I messed up. So alhamdulillah, in that way, like Dean keeps me like strong, man. Probably just mm-hmm. Dean purifying your intention there and there, because social media can be scary. Whatever you're doing can be scary as well, man. So alhamdulillah, just have the right people I around think you. With social media, this is something like where. You got two types here. Yeah. People troll you. Ah, oh, look, it's for your form's dead. Hmm. Like all of a sudden, there's yeah. loads of experts in it, and then yeah. there's the guys that literally gas you up, bro. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And I prefer the trolls, bro. Personally, yeah. I'd rather get trolled online, yeah, than get praised online, because oh. at least trolling, it it humble it, it it destroys your ego, bro. Yeah, which is good. You know, 100. it might not be true, but you know, to all the trolls out there, bro. Big your man's up in it. We need you, man. <laughs> <laughs> not my, not my comments here. Love, love, love. No, 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 no. but real talk though, we need nah, the trolls, bro. Well, like, nah, because sometimes you can get too like. I'm not even saying on the outside because there's a battle that happens that no one sees. Hundred. Do you understand between yourself? Like, no one might see this on the outward, but we're always trying to check ourselves, isn't it? Hundred. And I think uh, even uh, I know Russell Sasson used to always so give so. give. Uh, like, like, I think it was uh, Abu Al-Qa'qa, when he said, when he saw him walking a specific way, <laughs> like, he would walk with his chest out, and but he goes, I will only allow this on the battlefield, bro. To, to, that's right, isn't it? Dujana. Abu Dujana, astaghfirullah. Yeah, Abu Dujana, that's great. Solid. So, obviously, there's certain places where that can happen, but, but you see what I'm saying? All, well, and you imagine what the, think about it, yeah? you got all your brothers around you, yeah? Imagine what the Sahaba were like to each other, bro. Yeah. Imagine the ma- like what kind of people they were, and what they would do, what kind of stuff that they were doing as well. Like in a short period of time, what they achieved. Yeah, bro. You know, I remember one story. There was um, there was one Sahabi who he was like a, I think he was a messenger or something. Uh, no, it wasn't Sahaba. I think it was. A, don't quote me on this one exactly. But I remember the story where he he walked into a tent with his horse. It was like a, I think it was a Roman general or a, per, the, you know, their war tents, it had like carpets in there, yeah, the yeah. guy sitting on the floor. He walked in on his horse. It wasn't even a horse. It was like a, like a mule, bruv. 
Yeah. He's a G, bro. He, yeah. he got off, and you know, his, and his sword was so long, it was cutting the carpet. I was, I was just, woo, woo, just to show, like, this is, yeah. this is nothing, bro. It's true. All this kind of, you know, pompous kind of, uh, and that's important. If you look at, you know, like people like Habib and his team and everything, yeah, and. You got to shout out to his dad, bro, how he kept them in line, bro. Yeah, bro. Because that's imagine you got all those alpha males who are doing craziness. Yeah. Oh like they're God, on top yeah. of the world, bro. He is, man. Just recent, uh, I think, was it their cousin that yeah, just won Bellator? Omar, yeah, Omar, yeah. yeah. So imagine they just kill Islam, Omar, uh, 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 Habib. You've got other killers yeah, waiting bro. to come in. Even the little brother, what's his uh, little cousin? Osman. Os Osman, yeah. So Osman and, and Omar as well. Omar, yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. So imagine trying to keep those guys. You know, focused and you yeah, know, man. subhanallah. So it's it is man. a challenge, mashallah. It is, man. It's hard. It's not easy. So, what? So, ha, so what were you doing for a living at that time, bro? So, did back you go then, college and stuff, or so is back it? Then I went college, but I dropped out. What were you doing in college? Uh, business beta, innit? <laughs> Why are you laughing, bro? Because it's it's a, no, it's regular. It's like everyone does that, innit? But <laughs> <laughs> everyone does this. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm just cracking up in my head. I don't, I don't even finish it off, innit? Yeah, it, yeah. How long did you stay? Or was it Town Hamlet's College? So now I went, I did go to Town Hamlet's. That was my second college. My okay. first college was Sir John Cass, sixth form. Oh, Sir John Cass. Yeah, Green. Yeah, and yeah, I got, so I got kicked I out of that. that for a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah so I got I'm kicked right. out of that. And then I went to Town Hamlet's. Uh, what popular one? Yeah, the popular yeah. one, bro. Yeah, I was there. And then uh, even that, man, I wasn't. I'm the, like, I, mean, I was there, but I wasn't motivated, bro, man. Why not? Why not? Just, I don't know, man. Like, obviously, my parents always like pushing me, do this, do that, go uni. You know, this, yeah, the yeah. normal thing, which is like, obviously, normal. Yo, you must make sure you're not studying. Like, don't listen to this. <laughs> but everyone out there, man, like, don't take my word. But yeah, with me, I, I don't know. I always had something in my mind. Now I want to do something more, man. Like, all this, like, 95 life education is not for me. And like, I always had something bigger and something like I want to do that I enjoy. But I never had calisthenics back then. Right. It was just with like more something with sports related though. Like I had football. Right. I'm like I want like a legacy and a sign like big, not nine to five, not this normal lifestyle. Yeah. So I always had that and then yeah, bro, as soon as I left college, I started working. Even during college I was working. Like, I was working, working? Um, JD, I had, I had Tesco, Boots, oh, Sainsbury. Guys, blood. Yeah, I can Tesco. Him. Well, can I ask something about JD bro? Yeah, go on bro. Be honest with me, yeah? Yeah. Why does it take you 45 minutes to sign, find a size 10, bro? It's mad in the, in the stock. Don't bro. even try it, bro. Now, you guys are just chilling mad. there now in the I'm back playing you, cards, bro. There's a couple of times I, I, I used to chill there, but a yeah. couple of times, bro, like, it's mad. Bro, I would and bro. why do you mans have attitude problems, bro? That's I another bro. thing. I was a Not you, devil, yeah, yeah. but... I, was, I, was, I don't know about the others. But, but you, you know, bro. You know what I'm talking yeah, about, bro. Yeah, yeah, Trust me, I know. Even some of my work, I'm like, me, oh, It's like a youth club, bro. You go there. It is. It's literally a youth club. It's like a youth club, isn't it? That's youngsters work there, bro. Like, the pay. But if you ask them, why'd you work there? Oh, because it's JD, you know, this guy. Yeah. I'm like, move, man. I left after like a couple bro, of... One guy, bro, I'm, I'm honest, bro, gone, gone on his truth. I think it was that or Foot Locker. The guy's chirps in his, his, his colleague in front of me, bro. Yeah, it's mad, bro. Like, what are you doing, bro? Nah, it's like that. Trust me, it's, it's actually normal. It's, it's, it's so even, annoying, bro. Yeah, like JD. Like, I used to just chew in the stock room sometimes. What's the discount saying, though? Not anymore, bro. I know, but what's it? 25% off. Well, that's not bad, you know, It's bro. decent, it's decent. At least you don't work in Matalan, bro. Yeah. Not Matt, like TK Max. TK Max. Where yeah, everything's yeah, yeah. on the floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the shelf. The shelves hey. are on the floor, bro. Hey, shout out Z from Z talking TK Max. <laughs> One of my boys to work there still. Hey, I, let me ask, is it Z, yeah? Yeah, Z. Hey, Z, listen, you never did no work, innit? Because <laughs> yeah. have you ever seen a TK Max clean? Nah, bro, it is. Uh, have you nah. ever found your it, size and what you wanted? Nah, it gives me anxiety, bro. <laughs> like, my wife loves TK Max. You know, girls, they love them stuff, like, them type of stuff, like, you know, going there, yeah. them big, like, yeah. shops. No, no. Me, when I go there, bro, anxiety. Straight, but it hits me from like, and I can't. And do it's like thing. you can never go in TK Maxx saying, You know what? I want to get that Nike t shirt. You gotta buy what they're putting in there. Does <laughs> yeah, that make bro, sense? You like, never think to yourself, It's a Nike t shirt, but it's like orange with yellow. Like, yeah, okay, allow that, bro. Yeah, yeah, allow that. Mad, or like trousers. Well, like, I went there with my kid the other day. I was looking for a present for, for, for your kid. You know that oh. Batman thing that yeah, morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Trying to buy some baby clothes, yeah? Bro, it was like. It was like it was like a charity shop, bro. Yeah, it's mad, bro. Just don't go, man. Yeah, if you like, you like, oh, this is nice. Oh, it's it's in six foot, <laughs> yeah, baby. That's six foot tall, bro. I'm like, I can't get this, bro. <laughs> yeah, oh, and yes, then you I find know. shoes next to like I don't know, bro. Uh, 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 underwear, bro. <laughs> yeah, Cups. it's mad. Do you get mad. me? It's mad, yeah. And then I digress, bro. But yeah, yeah. so JD Sports. Yeah, and you um, like there. boots, Tesco, Sainsbury. Yeah. Name I was there, man. And the the recent one was um, Marks and Spencers. So I was there for about two years, 18 to 20. Yeah. And then lockdown kick, like, kicked in. Okay. I was on furlough. 
and after furlough, I just left in it. Furlough was a yeah. clutch, bro. It was sick, So bro. tell me about furlough, bro. Did you yeah. have to actually go to work? So the f- I didn't get a furlough straight away, by the way. Right. Because I was under probation. I just started and then lockdown came in. Right. So they're like, you have to work. And boys, calm. I was getting pay and a half, double okay. pay, whatever you call it. It was calm. I didn't mind. Which, uh, which Mark's expensive? Literally, literally, Hackney, bro. Hackney Central. Oh, selling the main street one. Yeah, yeah, the main street one. Bro, that is the most ghetto with Mark Suspensor, bro. You, bro. Nah, Zoom, bro. Like, huh? <laughs> he was shutting milk on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was there. Um, yeah, I was there for what? Do you know how many shankings I saw on that road? Yeah, it's mad, bro. We, it's, you know, you see the get, graveyard? You yeah. know the graveyard across Mark Suspensor? Yeah, literally. So, you if you go across, that, w- that was our school. I used to go home and just there. We, that's where we used to fight, bro. Mad, mad. We'd go there, I'll meet you in the graveyard was, yeah. and we'd fight there and <laughs> there then go get a milkshake crackers. from McDonald's. Yeah, bro. there was better crackers. Yeah, like, I was crackers, store and that. Yeah, it's mad. So, yeah, I was there. Then eventually got, like, alhamdulillah, it was during Ramadan, I got furloughed. So, it was a blessing. Alhamdulillah. So, Ramadan, I spent calm, literally just training, praying, sleeping, getting paid. That's it for a few months. And then eventually, that's when the furlough thing came off and we had to go back to work. I'm like, nah, man, I don't want to go back, bro. Like, like just a normal route, I didn't want to go back. And then, alhamdulillah, slowly, that's when my calisthenic stuff, my social media stuff started growing. And then, yeah, bro, I just left, like, without having anything there, no job, no night. jumped into eh? open space. Yeah, literally, yeah. bro. That's what, it's not a smart move, so brothers out there, like, even anyone out there, don't do that, innit? Like, make sure you have, like, safety first, then jump into it. But there's me, no safety, bro. Yeah, there's right. no, yeah, there's no such thing as safety. It's true, but have Come something Come on, there. seriously. Nah, it's true. I'll be honest, like, from experience, like, bro, I had nothing there. Like, I just... The last pay I had from Mark Spencer probably like two, like two bags. I was just chilling from that for the next six months, bro. You know, them things yeah. there. And then obviously I had like few like jobs there, you know, local jobs like doing, um, what was it, like camps with like, you know, children during holidays. Oh, right. Big up oh, whopping. Right. Like it was these company camps and get paid a couple of bills Whopping there. Youth Club, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So oh, I yeah, did a yeah, camp yeah, for the brothers yeah. from there. Yeah, yeah so right. yeah, I did a camp. Um, I know the brothers there, so what I did a camp. What kind of camp? Like summer camp. So during the holidays, so this was after Ramadan. Um, it was summer. 2020. 2020 oh, yeah. summer and that's when they did their first camp literally bro um it was during holiday time and literally like 10 to 1 like doing activities with kids man that's like p- man. making them playing football it's keeping them active during yeah. the holidays and then three to seven was that for was like, key workers uh, not key workers uh essential workers they, their kids or was it any kid any kid but any kids that time, that were, people yeah. that were like nurses and no nah, no nah, it's any kids that's lo- that's local, local to the area so they had more than one camp they had the whopping one shadow one stepney right. Marshall, like they're doing bits, so they had a lot as well. So yeah, I was just doing that after I mean it's like, you know, quick money, why not, man? So I was doing that, then training, and that's when I started taking my calisthenics stuff more serious, man. My insta started growing. And alhamdulillah, like I took that big step, but Allah blessed it in different ways, man. Just had a suburb, trust in Allah, that's it. So when you say so the thing is, bro, I'm struggling to understand, bro. Yeah. Like wallahi, I'm not joking, bro. I've been even since the last podcast I've done with um Shaquille. Shaquille, yeah. I'm like, I, I don't understand it, bruv. What? <laughs> what then you understand that? Like, <laughs> okay, me, so, like, okay. I'm going to go to the park. Yeah. I'm going to do my moves, yeah? I do, I do, I did the specific amount of moves. Yeah. yeah. So I've got brothers that I'm doing it with. Yeah. So it's like going to the gym, basically. Yeah, you do yeah, arms one day. Leg, yeah, um, it gets like that. I heard that legs are getting peak because you don't do legs with... Uh, kind of we do legs but at, at the, the gym. gym. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's all upper body stuff, yeah. kind of. You I'm can back. do legs, though. Don't get me wrong. Like We do sprints, squat jumps, all of this, like yeah. intense But leg, not on bro. the bar, bro. But not on the bar, yeah, bro. That's yeah. a bit mad. That, that's, I don't that's know who that, would do that, bro. Exactly. But have you ever tried to do this, bro? So I was thinking about it, yeah? You know those moon boots? Yeah. When you hook, you put your shoes on and then squat, like pull yourself up. Yeah, that's like mad, bro. Upside down squats. Yeah, is that even possible, bro? When I bro? think of it, I get a headache, bro. That's, that's not even possible, nah, is it, bro? That's like innovation, bro. Yeah, bro, that's... <laughs> like, you should invent something I might like be that. talking mad, bro. Yeah. Right? It might be not even possible, bro. <laughs> yeah. But, so, where did... How did you go from that to doing what you're doing now? So, making money off that. Does that make sense? How did yeah. you join it up? And talk me through that journey, bro. So, yeah, bro. Um, so, around 2019... Yeah. I was about 90, that's like one year into my training, one yeah. year into calisthenics. And just, I went Umrah, yeah. 2019, start of 2019, alhamdulillah, I went Umrah. Mm-hmm. After I came back for Umrah, um, it was just normal, I was doing ch- more charity, my first charity work, I went like Kenya, all of that stuff. So 2019 was more the practicing stage for me, learning more about the Dean, alhamdulillah, okay. all of that. And then I did go public on Insta, but it was just about like a humble 500 followers, you know, just them normal things. And I used to just promote for my charity stuff and that. And then eventually, bro, like 2020 came lockdown. And that's when I start doing calisthenics more outdoor. And then I start uploading. 
And then I used to just upload it. Let me just put my stuff out there, like, inshallah. But I never thought I'll have, like, what I have now, I never thought I'll have that two, three years ago, alhamdulillah. So, you know, I just start uploading, uploading, uploading. And then so around... how often would you do it? Like, three, four times a week. I upload, like, three, four times okay. a week. Like, legit, bro, like, different sets, man. Like, muscle-up set, like, a pull-up set, a dip set. Just, like, that's when the uploading started. And that's, like, training, I knew what, like, what to do with training. Like, we could go there... You could do suit, like endurance, you could do weighted calisthenics. There's even calisthenics, there's like different type of training when it comes to calisthenics. Yeah, yeah. So I'm um, we're more endurance, reps and sets and weighted calisthenics. That's us. And obviously now you you probably seen brothers, you know, f- fly off the bars. No. Nah, but there's freestyle calisthenics. Don't get me, well. in, don't get me into that, bro. Because nah, I'm gonna go in another oh, rabbit hole, bro. I'm telling you, bro. That's, that's and then we get uh, staying up till so, three in the morning so yeah, watching. There's, then there's like handstand. What do you mean? What, what, what's all that? Bro? So literally, brother, done this, bro. I don't know. The, yeah, they literally jump on the bar and they do like three sixties and they jump like back. Off. Oh, I've seen those yeah, ones. Yeah, so yeah, free, yeah, that's freestyle yeah. calisthenics. Okay. And there's, then there's um, static and skills. So that's like handstands, planche, human flag, all of that. And then there's like reps and sets. I would say that's probably the most famous. Right. Like just and like, do you do any of the other ones yourself? I could do a few skills. So I could do, um, you know, the human flag, obviously, yeah. the front lever, back lever. That's about it. And handstand, I used to, but not anymore. I get bored of that, man. Okay. So and yeah, handstands then, like what walking like, or just press nah, up just handstand? Hold, like you could do press up. You could do whatever you want with right, it, right. but most they do press up handstands or just the holds. So yeah, twenty twenty, I'll start uploading more. And back then, yeah, because after I came back from Umbra, I made the intention to stop listening to music. But then in 2020, my videos, I, I was using music on my workout mm. videos. Then I thought to myself, like, rah, what am I doing for my, I don't even listen to music to myself. I don't listen to music myself. Why am I putting music out there, making everyone sing with me? Yeah. So alhamdulillah, I made that intention. Like, from, from the ne- like for the following week, I'm going to use no more music. Just Nasheed, Islamic quotes, whatever, but no music at all. So I did that. And alhamdulillah, slowly my following was going up. Like, I went from 1,000 to, like, 1,500. So it was slowly going, alhamdulillah. It was a slow process. And then end of 2020... I'm like, yo, why am I on the ground in it? Then I thought to someone, what am I doing with this? Like all these workouts and that, like who am I trying to benefit? Like, am I doing for the girls? Am I doing for the wrong clout? Am I doing to show off? Am I doing to, like, you know, to be or to show that I'm better than everyone? Mm. Like I'm strong, I can do this. So I'm just, like, to myself, like, this year I was just reflecting on myself. I'm like, why am I doing it? Then I'm like, you know what? I'll go on my socials, yeah? All these Muslim influencers that I see and that, when you look at them, you won't think they're Muslim because mm. they don't embrace the deen like that. They don't show the dean like that. Like they were still like you can tell the Muslims certain ways, but like they still use music, still use that. So I'm like to myself, you know what? I'm gonna jump on the like social media again, but I'm gonna make sure I use Islamic stuff. I'm gonna make sure I use Nasheed. And my intention for putting my stuff out there is to help people. Is to you know motivate young brothers to get into calisthenics. It's to inspire people in a good way. So I made that intention. Mm. And spawn the last one I made TikTok as well. When I first made TikTok, I hated it, so I deleted the app, bro. It's too much fitness. There's bare music. Can, 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 I, can I stop you there mm. about TikTok, bro? Because I just got onto TikTok. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've said it already in another podcast, bro. Bro, wallahi, I'm not joking. That app is mad, bro. I want to be an alien. I, wa- I don't want to be part of the species, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mad, bro. So what, what turned you off about TikTok, bro? So literally, bro, that's, you know, so 2020, just after lockdown, I think that's when TikTok was, yeah, it started like, it was to, getting yeah. mad, bro. Because obviously yeah. everyone's like, yeah, just using bare social media apps. <laughs> So it's, I'm like, you know what? Let me download as, as well. So I downloaded it. And I just downloaded to scroll, bro. Yeah, but yeah. as I was scrolling, bro, it was just bullshit, bro. Like, yeah. sorry, like, just bare BS, man. Like, like I see, like, Muslim brothers dancing, you know, stuff with, like, females dancing, all of that. Then just bare nonsense. I'm like, yo, like, this is not me, man. So, because back then I was packed, like, I was more packed. So I, I'm trying to avoid that stuff. Like, try to just Are avoid you on TikTok it. now? I am on TikTok, but hardly on that thing, man. And then... Do you, do, you, do you see the difference between Instagram and TikTok? Yeah, man. What's the difference? <laughs> I would say Instagram followers and the yeah. people you have Instagram, they're more genuine, more engaging. Right. Whereas TikTok is your, F, you know the FU page, everyone knows about that, it's mad. No, I don't know that. So you know FU, so you know the main page where you scroll? No. <laughs> so what for you page, bro? Oh, the for you page. Yeah, so yeah, then when you open the app, the first thing that yeah, comes yeah, up, yeah, like better right, random yeah. stuff. Whereas yeah. Insta is who you follow, right? When you open the first, it's who you follow. Oh. So that's the thing you so get to control. So that page is yeah. whatever the. Is it based on what you've seen? What, you, what you've seen and the new stuff, like someone, for example, he's my boy, I follow him. Yeah. But something similar to his content will come up. 
So imagine one of my cousins, I'm following it, and he dances on TikTok. Yeah. Because Stop I follow like, him. By the way, your cousin, your cousin. No, nah, no, nah, it's not just, just an example. Uh, don't don't cousin, deep yeah. up your cousin like that, bro. This guy is deep. <laughs> imagine the imagine next brother from school. Yeah, yeah don't yeah. pull your cousin into yeah, that whole tough. thing. Imagine but between next... me, does he dance on TikTok? No, 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 no. I will whack him up, bro. Straight. Even my uncles will whack him up. But yeah, just for example, like next brother, a mutual, you know, yeah, and eventually he's dancing on TikTok. Because you follow him and he's doing that, you're going to get next brother's. Like you don't know, yeah. but cause they're about the same thing on your FU yeah. page, so that's how right, it works, right, man. Just right. bear mad. Sh- so it's the explore page on on Instagram, yeah, basically. Yeah. So, but obviously, the Insta um, explore page is who you follow. Yeah. Whereas yeah. the TikTok is, is a similar. It's about who you see, but it's more extreme. But so they push. Yeah, whatever, they push whatever, yeah. bro. Like the algorithm on TikTok. Because the mad. thing is, uh, we, when we signed up, bro, yeah. Yeah. So us, uh, we signed up a while back, and I just I was like, you know what, TikTok, no long thing, bro. Yeah. Yeah, because the demographic. Mad. It's mainly kind of teens. Yeah, it is, bro. It is, like it is. I'm a grown man, bro, and yeah. I can't see, I can't watch anymore. <laughs> yeah. You know, like some, you know, your brain is a fortress, yeah, isn't it? Like yeah, you yeah. got to really be careful what you let inside your head, isn't it? Even just an so. image, bro. You're traumatized, isn't it? Don't I lie, will bro. lie, bro. <laughs> there's two things I hate: TikTok and Westfield, bro. <laughs> these two things. <laughs> but if if TikTok was the place, yeah, it would be Westfield, West bro. 100, bro. But have you have been Stratford Westfield? Yeah, mad, I went bro. there last time. I was like, who are these creatures that have come out of? <laughs> Javi, when's the last time you've been to Westfield, bro? Literally, like a few weeks ago, bro, before we went to Morocco. What do you think? What do you think, honestly? Yeah, nah, you, I agree with we, you, man. We make it the shortest journey as yeah. possible, like, yeah. Yeah. within an hour. Whereas well, when you go with your wife, it's not short, bro. It's wife. a long journey. Yeah. Habibi. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long journey, like, I'm telling you that. It's it's emotional, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you start seeing things and then you come, I'm like, and, uh, you're trying to hold back from exactly, saying anything. Like, you're like, what the hell? But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so end of um, 2020. I, d- yeah. I downloaded TikTok then I told you and it was just yeah. mad so I deleted it yeah. and then also when I put it for my intention like what am I doing this social media thing for I made TikTok again but I'm like yo I will utilise it in the right way yeah. like with Nasheed you know yeah. with my like just implement the deen with my calisthenics that's, yeah. that's what my yeah. mindset I did that bro and I think in one week I went from 20 followers to 10k followers what? And yeah in one month I went from 10k to like 30, 40k in TikTok or in Instagram? on TikTok Okay. And then How much are you on TikTok at the moment? Right now, I kind of stopped, so I'm like 115k. Is that it, bro? Yeah, man. Just well, we've got about 14 followers there, bro. <laughs> so we're Come smashing it, bro. Yeah, we're we're making it. Literally, five of them are art. <laughs> <laughs> people that we That's know it, bro. One day in Solo, you're gonna get 140 bro no no That's I want 40 them 14 they're loyal though bro, it, bro. they click the like button don't they? Yeah, <laughs> nah <laughs> play it bro nah, but nah, so, so you got to 0 to 10 yeah in one week bro there's one video bro it's me, me doing um, the mus- flag innit that flag nah, nah no it's literally me doing muscle ups bro with the Nasheed on like, mm. I think it was the Yadima Nasheed I was at the basin, you know, where we train. I was doing the shit. And do you see the demographics that, that, I don't that check follow those. you? I don't check. Oh, yeah, it's Bay, Algerians, yeah. Moroccans, Indians, Pakistanis. Is it mostly men, women? Or men, men. Men. men what yeah. percentage wise, how much is it? Like 90%? Yeah, it would be like. 9% man and then mm. probably 10% females I don't know you better like. testosterone on your TikTok <laughs> <laughs> so yeah all of that um, yeah so Alhamdulillah like, like, on TikTok I was like I was like blue one and time. are you still on 151? now I'm on TikTok right now so I went from within I had TikTok for almost two years so right now I'm saying 115k on TikTok so you, 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 you've kind of like plateaued kind of yeah, yeah kind of like built that thing and just like left it there and I just upload whenever I have yeah, to yeah, like, yeah. I'm not really fussed about TikTok and then on Instagram, you still upload on it though. Yeah, there and oh, there sometimes. Okay. Not as cons- like before I still upload like every day or like every two days. Right now, like once a week. Right. Them because right. I'm more focused on Instagram and YouTube right. right now. And then eventually it was end of um, 2020. I was on like, I was sitting on probably like, on like 40k on TikTok. And then alhamdulillah, my Insta wasn't up there, but I was sitting on 3k on Instagram. Shout out to the 3k. Uh, yeah, shout out to like them loyal 3k. Right, by the way, we're on what? How much we on? 1200, I think. Mashallah, man. Shout out to those that's 1200. It, man. Big up everyone. That's, that's what it's about, bro. I have 1200. We got no, about 1700. Yeah. Hey, Allah, my God. We got about 30 likes. Which those, you, those, those, shout out to those 30 people that like yo, our yo, videos, you, bro. Who runs the Insta page? <laughs> Imran. Yeah, yeah, yo, use the rules, fam. Just post bare rules. I'm telling you, it's going to blow up. Yeah, but the problem is they've got my face on it. That's the issue. <laughs> I think I'm blocking the algorithm. Nah, algorithm nah, nah, bro. <laughs> Just one dawah, boom, it's going to blow, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. So yeah, then on um, Insta, again, the same thing, but obviously it took longer. I did one post, always purify my intention, all of that. Bro, that's one, for the brothers out there, yeah, if you're on social media, always purify your intention. Because yeah. it could get dangerous, man. Do it for the sake of Allah, do it for the sake of yourself and, you know, for the right intention. So I was doing that and then again, from Insta, I went, 3k to 10k within a week and then 10k to 30k within a month and then from there right now so it's been, last year this time last year i had about 
40k, 30k, right now I'm like 118k. Alhamdulillah. So yeah, that's 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 with social media, man. Just with social media, legit, but it's all about intention, man. Like who you're doing it for, man. Yeah. Like there's so much fitna, but again, like, we have to fight that fitna. Yeah. Because social media, there's always gonna be fitna, bro, in this Western world. Like there's always gonna be fitna, so we can't. So I I made that thing. I can't really use that as an excuse. For example, TikTok. Let me jump on it and implement in a good way. And if I feel like it's getting too much for me, your health is more important. Your yeah. dean is more important. Delete it, man. Like. That's I it. have like this thing, like, I, like before starting this podcast, yeah. I'm, bro, I'm the worst with these things. Like, I've got my own account, but it's terrible. It's got six posts on there, bro. Masha from Allah, solid. I don't really care. Yeah. Like, I just find it very long, bro. You know what it's like, innit, bro? Yeah. Man. Firstly, no one cares. Nah, nah, we do, bro. <laughs> no we personal do. account. Personal oh, account. Okay, no one okay. cares, bro. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, yeah. Jahidul personal account, forget the calisthenics. That is my personal account. But, but yeah. just, um, yeah, what yeah. I mean, imagine you weren't doing calisthenics, but who's going to give a damn if you eat chicken no. wings? Nah, uh, from, 100, bro. From Supremes on Brick Lane. No one, fam. Shout out to Supremes, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. How was that that night? It's beautiful, bro. Yeah, inshallah. Jump. Check, check out the, flat, uh, the yeah. butterfly chicken from there. Very inshallah. nice. Yeah, but no one cares, bro. Yeah. But sometimes we trick ourselves to think, you know what, let me post this ice cream that I've just ate. Yeah, yeah, man. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're doing something that's that's targeted it's it's there's Audience. there's a benefit yeah. to it and all that stuff yeah. but my thing was like i said look if we're gonna do alhamdulillah imran runs it yeah mm -hmm. which if i run it would have one follower bro literally <laughs> it'd be my mom <laughs> <laughs> but um in my head i was like i don't care if one person sees it or a million person people see it mm. i'm just gonna do what i want to do that's it do you understand because i don't want to get into this thing where because it's slippery slope, bros. Yeah? You start doing what people, what the algorithm or whatever people Watch click it, on. Yeah. And then before you know it, you're with your wife doing TikTok videos. Yes. That's how it gets, that's lot, how yeah, you bro. get there, bro. You become a dancing brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do yeah. yeah. you see what I'm saying, bro? My wife will smoke me, bro. That's, what, that's yeah. it. And, I, I des and she deservedly so, bro. Yeah, she bro. should be. Nah, yeah? Nah, but do you right, see what I'm saying to you, bro? Like, bro. Like, I feel like if you just, like you said, purify your attention, really, really think about what you want to do. Exactly, bro. And then uh, just stick to that, bruv. It so could be 10 years, bro. It could be bro, 20 yeah. years. Allah will bless that, bro, man. There's this, there's this book. I think it was a book. It was an author of a book. It says, you only need 1,000 followers. I, I, not on Instagram. Forget Instagram. Just in general. Just yeah. 1,000 people to believe in you. That's it. And because those people will buy your products. They'll, fo they'll, they'll support you. They believe in what you're, you know, what, what you're about. And for me, so if I, if, even if it's 50 people that, imagine if I could got 50 people, I couldn't even fit 50 people in this room. Well, yeah. alhamdulillah, bro. That's, alhamdulillah. I'd rather have that yourself, than yeah. 1 million followers. But who, who are those million? Yeah, it's true. Most of them are bots from China, bro. Nah, Let's be real. And it's sad, bro. Like, as you said, like, like probably a lot of people out there on social media with high following, they're doing so much just to please them followers that they forget, especially the Muslim ones, that they forget about to please Allah. Like that's this the most important thing. So small, that's what I say, sometimes social media, if it's not for you, if it's getting on the way, you know, your iman, your deen, it's not for you, just delete it, focus on your deen, focus on your iman. And if you feel like your pattern and like, you know, your discipline, that like you could do both, you could balance and then yeah, go for it. But if not, because I know some people, bro, like social media gets to their head so much, bro. Like they will cry because one of the video got 100,000 likes and the other one got like 10,000 mm. likes. Like they were like, it's deep like that. But again, like that's when deen comes in, you know, like you have to understand in this, you know, dunya, we should just please Allah, you know, worship Allah, and that's the main goal, man. So a lot of people forget that. That's why I feel like when people are out there, like especially the Muslim ones, just remember, man, remember the deen, the iman, that's all, bro, and inshallah, that keeps you on a straight path. 100%, bro. And I feel like as well, um, this whole social media thing, it's, because I'm from a little, I'm, I'm from the older generation, yeah. So we, I got, we, social media, like when I was. You might just have like, what? Facebook, isn't it? Nah, bro. Not even Facebook. <laughs> Teletext. <laughs> what do we have, man? Teletext, bro. Uh, What's that messenger? It. Hotmail or something? Hotmail. MSN. MSN. Oh, yeah, MSN. 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 <laughs> you bought have MSN. So MSN was the popping place, though. Don't even yeah, try it, bro. Yeah, I don't, yeah. No, but no, but even MSN was a fitner then, bro. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Do you understand? Your yeah. kid could be in the room with you, <laughs> and he's chatting to some white guy in Ohio, bro. <laughs> You don't know. It's my bro. And yeah. he could be some child predator, bro. No, 100, bro. Like, there's, there's dangers with everything. But everything. what I mean is this, is that, um, like, we call it, so I was old enough to know better, isn't it, when social media came about. Now we've got a whole generation where... Even the OG uncles are on there, bro. They're yeah. dancing on that farm. Oh, mad. don't get me <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it gets like the act, bro. Can I, can, I, can I ask you a question? Go on. So <laughs> on your Insta yeah. or on YouTube, who, who, what, do you, what, do you fo- what do you what do you follow? So Apart from calisthenic people, because I know you do, you do that anyway. What kind of things interest you? What would make you click follow? Like, better, like just sports stuff, isn't it? Like combat sports, football. football. Yeah. Um, who are you watching on football, bro? Like them highlight page, man. Like BT Sport highlights. Oh, oh that kind of stuff. I can't okay. sit down watching a nine minute game no okay, more. Yeah, 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 that's like long. That. So yeah. yeah, so highlights like you know. What about those UFC? commentators? Like um, you got that guy Ransom Bantz, and you got uh, you know those guys. Joe that Joe Rogan and that podcast. Yeah, podcasts and stuff. Yeah, I watch a bit of food podcasts. A lot of podcasts. You watch any? Okay, interesting. So, yeah. Obviously, you watch Grappling with Life. Yeah, podcasts. and then obviously every single episode, yeah, obviously, bro. Yeah. Probably a couple, but yeah. No, not every single episode. Now inshallah, every single episode. But yeah, like, you know what's funny, bro? You know, lie, bro. Like, I never expect people to watch the show. They do, bro. Man. No, but I'm saying even if they they do or they don't, yeah, I just put it out there, and I'm just I just keep it moving, bro. Yeah, that's because the way. Because when some guy approached me in the message, and goes, oh, "I watched," it. I go, "Bro, why are you sitting there watching this, bro?" <laughs> like in my head, yeah. Like not not no, that bro, it's a bad really thing. Anything, a lot of people no, like. Alhamdulillah, if, alhamdulillah, if we are, you know, we are, bro. But, like that, but but in my head, it's like bro, you don't ever expect it, innit? Yeah. So um, like I can see yeah. how it can get to people's heads, bro. Yeah. Do you get me? Um. But also, I think it's important to have a life outside of that. I think that's where, like, obviously, we've got, me and Zach got a tech business. Imran's got Mashallah, his, man. I don't know what the hell he does. He's, we still don't know what he does. Bro. <laughs> He's like a ninja, bro. No one knows what he does, bro. That's, that's the way in it. Private but, life. Yeah, so we've got our own life and we try, we keep our lives outside of this, yeah? And when people start to overshare, it, like dangerous. like a Kurt Zuma, bro. Why would your brother post you kicking the cat, bro? Oh, no, that's a bit of stun, bro. <laughs> that's, that's mad. Like you didn't it? have to do that, bro. You know that's what I'm saying? Mad. Kick no, the cat that off, that. off. Don't kick the cat. No, Hundred, you're right. I know <laughs> where you're coming from. YouTube. I'm not asking. I'm not, we condone animal violence and yeah, all that yeah. stuff, yeah. But you baited your brother up for what, bro? That's it. Now he got a fine. He got yeah. everything, bro. And then they call him Cat Zuma now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's the D. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> not everything is to go online. Have a life uh, offline as well, nah, bro. Bro, you're right, man. But okay, so now the interesting bit, which, well, everything's interesting, but your trip to Morocco. Okay, yeah, so what, like, how did how did it get to that point? How, how do you think? So, bro, one how thing. How did you organize it? Yeah. And, yeah, so with me and now even the brothers around me, one mindset, one goal we have in our you know, mind is, is brotherhood, right? Like, it's all about the brotherhood. Like, yeah, you know, the calisthenics stay Islam. But the brotherhood thing, united, you know, going around, spreading the deen with calisthenics. So that's our main purpose now. Mm. So with Morocco, that was my f- that's our first ever workshop. So it's like with this, it's called the basic movement. Yeah, so I was yeah, going to ask you about that. Yeah, yeah, so basic movement. So this is... I I'm honestly ca- thought that was the middle finger, bro. <laughs> you didn't <laughs> show worry, the whole fam. thing. It's the one finger and the <laughs> okay. one shahada. Get me, one shahada. Because you didn't show the whole thing. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, right, nah, these nah, guys nah, are no moving brazy, bro. Nah, no <laughs> middle finger. One shahada. Look, straight, straight, straight. So, yeah, so with the... So, one so of now our, I understand what the basic movement means now. Yeah. It's the place where you train. Yeah, where I get we it. train, and yeah. now what we're trying to do is literally, bro, like do workshops, local, um, international, abroad, everywhere. And Morocco was the first one. So what's a workshop? So workshop is literally, um, for example, we do calisthenics. It's literally us there, and then. So someone I'm, who's interested in calisthenics yeah. or calisthenic people getting together and doing calisthenics. Anyone, someone who's interested in calisthenics and right. calisthenic people that. Right. It's ev- it's for everyone. It's like a open invite for everyone to come and kind of know what calisthenics is so that's what we want to do the workshop and then we're like let's spread the deen and calisthenics whilst doing it okay so that's my goal i spread the brotherhood because yeah a lot of us we talk about brotherhood talk about the deen this that but the kind of they're not implemented within themselves like when you see like when you go to town hamlets bro all the bengalis are fighting with each other if you go camden town all the turks are fighting with each Mm. other like and under the way all muslims bro like when you go like myelin or fizzberg all the malis are fighting with each Mm. other so again, like we have like same ethnic groups fighting with each other, like Muslim fighting Muslim. So one of our like main goal is like, yo, let's get the Muslims together, bro. Like let them, let, let's show them that when we're together, that's when we're the strongest, you know. So mm. that's the main goal with this like movement. Sure. And with Morocco, they have a very big Calisthenic community out there. Oh, is it? Yeah, and it's called Bar Brothers Morocco. So, oh, so cool. yeah, you can see. So that was a turnout, man. Well, let's get, give us some noise, blood. I mean, some sound. Sorry, not noise. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a good time. 20, 30 man that day. How long is the session? This whole thing was about three hours. 
Bro, how are you doing pull-ups for three hours, bro? No, nah, it's not just pull-ups. So we do like friendly competition. Oh, okay. We talk as all. Well. We like told them advice about yeah. calisthenics, about the dean. Okay. So that's what a workshop is. It's not just training. Oh, I see. I see. It's kind of giving them a bit of an insight. Yeah. Yeah. So alhamdulillah. Bro, do you get pain in your elbows, bro? At times. Like the what's it called? Uh, tennis, not a tennis. Yeah. Elbow. Is it tennis? Tennis elbow? ball. Tennis. Tennis elbow. Yeah. At times, it depends what, what movement. So, for example, if you do like heavy dips yeah. consistently, yeah. eventually, so it depends how strong your joint is. Alhamdulillah, we're all right, but I know certain athletes that they would get a bit if of If you pain. go up too quick if as well. If you go up too quick, yeah. um, you just need conditioning, but under the conditioning diet, that will help with it. And mm. be smart with training. Don't do heavy dips every day of the week. Yeah. Be smart, do like two times a week, rest, come back again. So, have you got a YouTube channel, bro? Yeah, bro, it's literally called bro, Jahidu, man. Bring it up. Literally called Jahidu. With the four. With the four, <laughs> that's with everything, bro. <laughs> Love it, bro. Oh, is this shorts? Nah, nah, like, we've got long videos. Give yeah, us a yeah. chunky video, man. Yeah, Come look, on, go, down, go down, go, down, go on the second one. Yeah, the second workshop, second one. Yeah, this one, yeah, this one. Yeah. So, literally, that was a turnout in Morocco. Okay. All there. Where, where was it? In Agadir, Morocco. Agadir. So, it's a block up city, but alhamdulillah, it worked. Big day for yeah. And you know what's mad? Half of them they don't even speak English, but we very still good brother. Yeah, yeah, that's yes, it, good. Bro. That's what it is, fam. Yeah. Like, I was in France like a couple of months ago. One brother, I spent the whole day with him, no English, bro. Just people <laughs> translate and just Allah, just alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, yeah. inshallah, inshallah. He works for him, man. It's one Allah. The way Allah works, beautiful. And even when I had to talk, and I had to talk bare stuff. I'm jahidu. <laughs> this, this, that, this. <laughs> They must be thinking, these names, we've never come across these yeah, names, Yeah, they're like, bro. Jahid Dul, where did they all come from? <laughs> and he's like, my name is uh, uh, Rashid. Yeah. Where does a Rashid there? Huh? Was there a Rashid there? Oh, there was. Why uh, there uh, was, uh, uh, was there Nabil there? <laughs> nah, no. Okay, no, one no. second, one second. Abbas. I think there was Abbas. Bro, the, the typical Moroccan names. Give me another Jamel. one. Jamel. There Ash was a Jamel. Ashraf. Ashraf. Yeah, Omar. Omar, yeah. yeah that's yeah. the main guy. Okay. So, Alhamdulillah, man. Big up Morocco, man. Big up Shout out to, we might even do an Arabic podcast. Bro, you know what? Nah, nah, I don't speak Arabic. Bro. No, I'll do one oh, with him, man. Yeah, I'll, bro. I'll, I'll zoom not? with him, bro. Next workshop we go next year. Yeah. Just come along, bro. Oh, That's bad. Set, <laughs> yeah, Buff. come along, bro. Hell. And I'm yo, you could teach them grappling, fam. That could, I could be teach, like... But no, I'm not doing no pull-ups, bro. Nah, nah, I'm nah, going to look like a waste, man, nah, doing bro, these pull-ups. Just, just grappling, fam. Unless you give me like a... a I'll a, give you a, a, work, a free I'll hour. I'll give you my workout plan. Use that, inshallah, you get... Okay. Yeah, that's it. Mad. So, yeah, so that's what we're trying to do now. So, Morocco was the first one. But you're literally trying to go to different cities, different countries. So, I want you to like. But for Jaido, you're, you're going on like 1.25 speed, bro. <laughs> say, 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 say. <laughs> Slow down, bro. I've got bad questions for you, bro. Nah, nah, but go, actually, go. I'm actually tired. You know that, bro. Uh, Jaido's on 1.25. I am mad. It's, it's the pull-ups, bro. Yeah. It's, it's the fast, testosterone. It's the fast, fast so, where, where, we're going to talk about where Morocco. Start? Where did you go? Oh, okay, How okay. long did you stay? Oh, so you're talking about Morocco in Come general. Come on, bro, man. In we just got in there, oh, bro. Say nine. Okay, look. Yeah, so you we, got... So we went in Morocco two weeks ago. Okay, mashallah. How long we did you stay? Five days. Okay. Four nights in... Straight into Agadir? Agadir, yeah. Mashallah. Straight Agadir. We was going to do Rabat. So Agadir and Rabat. But okay. it was going to become too much because we took our wives. And one of my um, boy, he had this kid with him, Zion. Okay, so okay. our nephew. Mashallah. So we don't kind of do too hectic. So yeah, we was there for five days. Yeah. The workshop was only one day. Okay. And we thought, look, we're going to Morocco to a Muslim country. Let's just go together, take our family. And at the same time, we get a holiday out of it. So alhamdulillah. So it's kind of win-win. So did you bring take brothers with you? As in, was it like a package holiday almost? You took them with you? And then, or is it that you met brothers there? And how did, how did it work? So the brothers is literally my boys. So me, Rez was there. A few of my other boys, like literally the ones that, we trained together at the oh, basin. Okay. You put brothers. money together. Yeah, literally. And money and alhamdulillah, sponsorship as well. They okay, helped us to cover their um, flights, you know, their accommodation. Who's your sponsor? Shout them out. Yeah, shout them out. Ottoman Donna, Super Botanic, Crystal Custom, TGO, Sunna Supplements. What's the last one, bro? Five bros. Five bros. Yeah. Easy, bro. So big them up, man. So yeah, they helped a lot as well, man. They literally like covered most of our flights and that. And yeah, we flew out. So yeah, first it was just gonna was me and Vez and few other, but literally three of us was literally gonna go for f like three days. But then before, look, because my wife she's half Moroccan, she's never been Morocco. She's been yeah. Algeria, but she's never been Morocco. So I'm it like, makes no. sense though. Yeah, Algeria let's just take. Better, yeah. <laughs> Jack it, Jack. She said Morocco's better still, bro. Ah! <laughs> I'm mad in it. <laughs> ah! no, but, yeah, 
Don't worry, I'm going to decide because inshallah, one of our next shop, our next workshop is going to be on um, Algeria. Algeria bro, good luck getting in there, bro. Yeah, I heard, <laughs> good I heard, luck, my I guy. Heard, mad, didn't it? With the visas and yeah, that. visa. Then, luckily, where's your dad from? All yeah, this stuff. So basically, one of my boy's wife, she's full Algerian, yeah. and then also my wife, she's half Algerian. Hopefully, that helps. Uh, when we can say it's like we're going to no, a family wedding. You, you can get the visa, bro. You get, yeah. you get it's it. Just, I just uh, uh, we clocked it was a bit hard. Yeah. So, it's not as easy as Morocco, bro. Yeah, Morocco don't even need a visa, you don't, right? You just go in straight. Yeah, alhamdulillah. So yeah, we were there for five days, and yeah, bro, the workshop was one day, so, and alhamdulillah, it was a good blessed Sick. trip. What did you do in the other five days, bro? Stop, bro. He doesn't want to tell us. He doesn't want to tell us. What he's doing. Oh, okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. He doesn't right. want to tell. Right, let me tell them. It's nothing. nothing. Tell us, bro. Tell us. Go, we want to live through no. you, bro. First day. Because we were here yeah. in the in the rain, bro. Right, I, I, I want to live yeah, through yeah, you, bro. I see you, man's Insta. Yeah, yeah looking exactly. Peak, looking peak, bro. So, <laughs> so look, first day it was a yeah. morning flight. So our flight was about seven a.m. But it yeah. got delayed. Right in here. Yeah, yeah. Get the airline, bro. Stay. Get me. Stay out, bro. So we got delayed, like by one hour. So the flight eventually departed around eight a.m. And then <laughs> mid air, yeah, there was a passenger. He got a drunkie and he was cussing the, what do you call the thing, the ladies? Stewardess. Yeah, yeah. 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 She, he was yeah. cussing her, and then like she wanted him to get off the plane. So the what, in mid flight, bro. Yeah, but and, then deep, the, bro. and guess what? The the <laughs> captain, yeah, the flight captain is like the thing captain. He's like, yeah, we're gonna get off in Marrakesh now. Kick this guy out and then fly to Agadir. Well, That's like, long, bro. So well, like, that's another hour delayed. Yeah, so yeah. it was just it was kind and of. They like, actually did. Nah, they didn't, bro. Oh, <laughs> we, were just, we were just stunting in it. You know okay, them right, right. So yeah, that happened, and eventually, alhamdulillah, after like three, four hours, it was delayed. Got to Agadir around 12, 11, 12 in it. By the time. What was the weather like, man? Pff, nice, man. Mm. 25, 26, perfect for us, man. And because we was in the coast, because Agadir, yeah. nice breeze, nice oh, wind, yeah, man. Yeah. And another halal McDonald's. Halal McDonald's, yeah, get me. When it was eating, is it, like, is it as good as everyone's? It's just, it's basically Bims, isn't it? You know what, bro? Have you had Bims? Yeah, yeah I had Bims. It's like McDonald's, right? You know, it's like, I, I just got bare gas, so I enjoyed every bit the of Big Mac and yeah, yeah. But obviously, these are not all of them enjoyed it, innit? but I enjoyed. Me and what my wife, you get? we what loved you get? it. I got a double cheeseburger with nuggets, normal fries, and a uh, Hawaii. Well, oh, a big Hawaii, Hawaii, of course. Shout out to Hawaii, bro. Yeah, yeah, Hawaii. bro. Come on, Hawaii. So about Selecto, bro. Your wife should know about Selecto. Uh, you yeah, have I'll you had Selecto? No, I haven't. No, I had ha Hawaii and Pop. Bro, I'm starting to get angry now, bro. <laughs> don't I'm gonna go to angry, bro. I'm gonna go to soon, fam. Inshallah. You don't need to go. You go to Finsbury Park. Oh, then calm, calm, calm. When's the last time you've been to your in-laws' house, bro? My in-laws, they're from France, bro. Are they living in France? So my wife, she's a French citizen. But she's, your, she's your in-laws are in France, though. Yeah, they're in France. Obviously, they are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you, you haven't had that benefit nah. of. Uh, I had like tagine and all of that couscous. Yeah, and yeah, it was nice. But yeah. Okay, but you got to have select on inshallah. Inshallah, have it next time. Inshallah, yeah. no problem. So yeah, you had a Hawaii. Yeah, chilling. You had a double cheeseburger. So I would have went for a Big Mac, but you went for a double cheeseburger. Nah, Big Mac tiny, is, you know, Big Mac is dry, fam. Is it? Yeah, trust me, it gets, it gets dry. Like my mm. wife had a Big Mac, she said it was a bit dry. Mm. So yeah, all of that, we just chilled, innit? it? Well, Did you now, swim? Did you go swim? Nah, bro, it was, it was, it was mad. Because the timing was a bit mad, didn't it? We had bare people with us. Oh, not everyone wanted to swim. Right, right, right. We had, you know, like our wives with us. So yeah. not everyone would want to do that. Yeah. Is Agadir, you know, the, is it quite... Like touristy, the, touristy in a sense with their nakedness but on it, the beach. It had a not, 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 uh, not where we went. When right. we went, it was like the beach was just families alhamdulillah. chilling, alhamdulillah. Yeah. So it was nice. But I, I, do, I heard like it does get like that sometimes in the summer, probably, summertime. Because yeah, yeah. for for them it's cold, bro. Like certain brothers there, they were wearing like bloody jackets and that. <laughs> and we're like, yo, what go? What's happening here, bro? But obviously, then it makes sense. Yeah. And for them, it's cold season. For yeah, us, yeah. summer is summer. Anything above twenty is summer for us. Yes, yeah, sir. So we was enjoying the first day. Legit, it was chill. They were just eating. We went to the souk. So cool. Yeah, the market. Did like, you get what did you buy, man? I didn't buy nothing, bro. My wife bought something. Actually, buy I, no, no, I bought a Kimi top. What a tub? Yeah, no, 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 proper woolly ones. Have you seen those ones? I think I did because I went Marrakesh a few months ago with a charity. Okay, right. So right. I did my shopping then. Okay, right. But this time I didn't really get. I just bought you know Hakimi multicolored ones. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Right yeah, now, nice. I just bought a Hakimi top, bro. That's, that's Shout it. Shout out to Hakimi, bro. Yeah, man, big him up, bro. But that's it, Hakimi top. That's it. And that's it, bro. So the first day went like that. Second day, what was the second day, bro? Yeah, quad bike. Second day excursion, quad bike, eating, chilling, hammam. Alhamdulillah. So yeah, you proper it. went on holiday, bro. Yeah, it was proper. And then when was when, when did you when did you do the workshop? On the third day. Right. So the third day, literally, bro, like woke up at eight a.m., nine a.m. Bucked the main guy from the organization, um, Omar, big him up. Yeah. Spoke what we're gonna do. How did you even get in contact with him, bro? Instagram, man. Social media. And how did you me, even? Because he don't speak English, right? Yeah, but he understood it. You know how to write. He gave me some VNs. I understood him. Like yeah, yeah. I get what he's saying. Alhamdulillah, man. That's it through Instagram, man. That's it, bro. And the f last day we did like horse riding, a few more excursions.
Helping yeah, that. yeah, of course, of yeah. course. Yeah. But he did give me like the links where to stay. Where, yeah, like, yeah, all yeah. Of that that's stuff. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, alhamdulillah. So he did help me in that way, yeah, like where to go. And we had people there. So one of my boys, Z, he has a boy there in Morocco. Like he just made like he just became boys with him. He helped us a lot with the excursions and that. Sure, so yeah, alhamdulillah, it was it was good trip, man. So I'm nice take a picture with a monkey, bro. Nah, nah, that's in Marrakesh for when they take like 100 dirham of the <laughs> for a monkey, but like that, bro. <laughs> All of the child dudes do that to me when I was in Marrakesh. I'm like, nah, I'm good, hoya, I'm good. Bun <laughs> monkeys as well, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, the Moroccan monkeys are deep, that's bro. That's there, bro. And then they take it, they put it in your thing. You're taking one because my boy did that when he was in Marrakesh. Yeah. He's like, yeah, bare gas. And like, yeah, 100 dirham. He's like, what? And How much get, is 100 dirham, roughly? Like, tenner, like, a tenner. A tenner? Yeah, bro. Mad, like, it's mad. I mean, I like monkeys, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> not ten of them. 100 dirham, you could buy a lot of things in yeah. Morocco, bro. 100 dirham. But they, I heard they just stick them on you, bro. Yeah, sometimes it gets deep. That's why you, j- you have to be not aggressive, right. but you have you to be like, yo, like, chill, chill. Yeah. Move, move. Hoya, <laughs> move like that. You <laughs> 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 get me? It gets like that. See, now, Julia, don't do that. Okay. Because it's a bit different. Yeah, because Morocco is more of a tourist country yeah, than Algeria. Yeah, Algeria, Algeria bro, firstly, you, you ain't going to get the hospitality you're going to get. Yeah. Uh, you, we're hospitable, but. Don't mess about. Don't ramp, bro. Yeah, say no. Nice. <laughs> they're not gonna. They're not gonna bump up the price for you. They're not gonna. I heard my mom was saying it's quite deep recently, isn't it? It's, it's expensive, bro. It's expensive. Well, Algeria. Mm. For them, it is. I don't know. Is it expensive for us? Nah, not really, bro. It's probably one. I heard yeah. it's like alright. It's, it's alright, mashallah. Yeah. And Algeria, mashallah, it's very beautiful, bro. That's one. You can go man, skiing, mashallah. bro, on one yeah, side. Bro. You can go Mountains. go to the desert. Proper desert experience. Not that Morocco doesn't have these things, yeah. but um, Just more yeah. less, bro. You're not gonna see. Uh, anyone from Ilford, bro? <laughs> I can well, guarantee you that, bro. We ain't seen no one from Ilford. Bare bodies that look like they're from Ilford. <laughs> no, no, no. But you understand, bro? You're yeah, not gonna I'm see good. anyone like that, bro. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Marshall, that's really good, bro. I didn't realize that you were that deep into it, man. So yeah. you're doing this full time, bro. So yeah, how do you feed your family, bro? With this, man. So how? Like, how does that even I do work? I mean, obviously, don't. I don't want to talk about figures, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I don't want to disrespect you like that, bro. I'm, I'm, what for me is like if. How did you even, when did you decide that, you know what, how do I parlay this into kind of yeah. making peace? So I told you, as soon as my Instagram started growing, so yeah. when I saw about like the 40, 50K on Instagram, I was getting bare companies like approaching me for promos and that. So at first I'm charging them like 20, 30 pound and that. Then I spoke to some influencer I know already. 30 pound for? Like just like one post, like they send you something, you put the post on your Instagram or your story, they'll give you 40 pound. I thought that was better money, easy money, and a quick, quick pinky, quick forty yeah, pound in my yeah. pocket. Why not? And then obviously, alhamdulillah, not a lot of influencers as well. And they're like, "How much do you charge?" Now, but sorry, now we was in one thing here. One, I don't know, it was literally like a link up or something like with influencers, and yeah. they were just talking amongst themselves. They're like, "Yeah, man, I charge like five bills, like for like one post." And I'm just they're thinking, five bills? What? I like, man, charge like fifty pound, bro. Like, what am I doing, fam?" And then obviously, I spoke to him. I'm like, "Yeah, bro, trust me. Like, just look at your insights, all of that." And back then, bro, my insights when I was on fifty k was I was hitting like a million, so it was reaching like a million people and that. So he's like, "Bro, you can charge easily five bills to your bag." But even then, me, I didn't want to do it mm. that much. I'm yeah. like, you know what, my I was capped at two fifty. That's me. Yeah. So I'm doing like through promos. I was making decent money, and then. But how how often would you get opportunity to back, do a promo? Like, back then, even now, bro, I'll get at least a couple a month. Like I'll get like two three a month if I wanted to. Like, cause sometimes I'll be honest, I'm bare lazy with it. Because it's long, innit? They give you the stuff. You have to make content for them, this, that. So like, what kind of stuff did you promote? So, for example, like, it would be, like, a third. It would be, like, Torbs. You know, it would be, like, supplements. Like, I had um, Gymshark sponsorship for, like, six months. Like, uh, stuff how like they, that. How, how does that work? That so, yeah, Gymshark. So I wasn't part of their R- Ramadan campaign. So they approached me. Like That's why they boyed off True Jordy, innit? Yeah, probably. So all of that stuff. So they you approach, hear about all that? Yeah, that yeah, waste, waste, man. man, man. But we, bro, what no saying? one looked at True Jordy and thought he loves Muslims. <laughs> yeah, bro, no come one. On, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> no one. This guy looks like some idiot, no, brother. Bro, bro, I'm up. telling you, no, it's, it's not even about it's not even about how he looks, but it's kind of how he looks as well, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. He looks mad from still from like, <laughs> No, but even the way he comes off, yeah. like the way he's he was like, born racist, bro. He was born. He was born like that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you woke up like up that, north, fam. They're just definitely Who? all of us are packing. That's how it is. That's bro. it. That's that's, that's it, bro. That's and and, and we don't. Everyone's got a past. That's it, I'm bro. sure he's a yeah. football fan as well. So he's probably. Is you know what I'm saying, Newcastle. bro? Yeah, definitely mm. one of them, bro. He's yeah, probably. Newcastle, yeah, Jordan. Yeah. 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 I give yeah, him his, yeah. Yeah. his name, yeah. bro. Exactly, bro. <laughs> Some dead name as well, bro. Change your name, for <laughs> big man. <laughs> I'm joking. But yeah. So like, so how does that gym? So talk us through how 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 you got 
got that. So, um, alhamdulillah, so when I was growing on my Instagram, they, my reached, TikTok, out to they you. reached out to me, they emailed me. So that's what they do. So every company, they have a marketing team. Right. So they do the marketing side. So they'll be on TikTok scrolling past and they'll yeah. see numbers. They, like, they won't only look at you for like one, one minute. They, they will literally stalk you. I know it sounds mad right. for like, for good like a week or two. And they're like, oh, this, or like a mom, this guy's doing good. Let me approach yeah. him. So that's how it was with Gymshark. Eventually the guy approached me, gave me a six month contract. They would give me um, Gymshark clothes. So I got, I still got like Gymshark clothes I never wore, bro. <laughs> I got bare clothes in so it. How, 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 how much clothes do they give you, bro? Bro, every, every two weeks or three weeks, I think, Gymshark. Because they want you obviously to wear it yeah. on, the, on the shoes bro, and like, stuff. Good, like 10 pieces, bro. Wow, okay. So like three. And was the money stuff. enough to kind of like live off or is it? It was good pocket money. Okay. I won't say to live off, but it was good extra money. Like right. just to, to, for basically one of the things was literally one post a month. So you just wow. literally post once a month, like once a month. What, a, a direct post. Yeah, direct post like, like on your feed, saying that this and then do like five story posts. So, right. like for that, it was worth it, bro. Like so when you say five story posts, I mean like I'm wearing. What, what, yeah. What? So like, do they give the you the? Do they give you the? They give what me my to say? code. Yeah. Now nah, they just be like shout out and, and let people use your code. So I had a code like use Jahid or ten for like ten percent off. Okay. So stuff like that, right, and right. I had my own like affiliate link. So yeah, bro. Like imagine they send it to me. I'm like, yeah, big up to Jim man for this. Put the link on. That's it. Two days after, yeah, wearing the Gymshark blue top, you know, stuff like that, and like, mm, a bit of marketing sales. Right, right, so yeah, that was with Gymshark. I like, got six months, and then after six months again, like they didn't, they don't. Most of the time, they don't take like people like us on in it. it gets mm. like that. It's deep. But they bond you off that's for six months. Yeah, like it's a six month contract, and they say within the six months we see how you're doing, and if you want to keep it, we'll keep you. If not, we're not. Yeah, but right. then I knew like at least six of their other athletes that they, like they were doing the thing with me. They didn't keep none of them. So like we kind of get how it is, in it. Right, I see what you see. So yeah, yeah. It just but again, it was a good experience. So Jim Shark, I had um, there's another supplement company called PhD, PhD oh, Nutrition. Yeah, yeah. So that was recent. That was for the past six months. I had again similar. They give you supplements, hundred pound worth of supplement every month. Again, you post it once a month, and again they, they pay. didn't pay you though. They pay you. They pay you as well. So all of them I had because you have to understand at this point like I'm at a stage, alhamdulillah, that I c- I can like you know charge companies. Yeah. Like, not £100, not this one. Like I can literally charge them good money because yeah. my insights and my following speaks for itself, alhamdulillah. Did you have to provide your dashboard and your analytics? Yeah, 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 so they asked for that. Because sometimes, uh, some people, they have 100k, but on, but, uh, on the post, they're getting, like, five, 50 yeah. likes. They're yeah. like, well, where's the maths in that, bro? So you have to show your insights and yeah. your stuff. <laughs> it's true, though, like. <laughs> it's true, though. about you, isn't it? What are you laughing at, bro? <laughs> Man's getting a Morley sponsorship. Nah, what are you talking look, about, you bro? You have 40 followers, but you get, like, 40 likes. now. that's yeah, calm, bro. Bro, do you know what? <laughs> I uh, bring up, bring up. Let me bring up the Insta, bro. Show you how balling we are, bro. <laughs> so any any sponsors out there, bro? Okay, right, one second, them. yeah. The last one about napping. Cool, fifteen cool. likes, rude boy, and fifteen <laughs> of them I actually know them in person, bro. That's, right, that's it, bro. That's it. If I told them to go buy Gymshark, they'll get fifteen. Maybe maybe three of them would buy something, bro. <laughs> Oh, Alhamdulillah, so Alhamdulillah, it's Alhamdulillah. Good. But yeah, that's how it works. So for the past last year it was literally like promos and that. And then So what's the so obviously have all your sponsorship run out now? Nah now I got every year Alhamdulillah it just comes with like come just a new one, a new company will come or like something better comes for you. Do you so, ever turn them any any way? Yeah bro. Sometimes you have to man. Sometimes they will try, like they will offer you this much like raw. No, gonna, but like ethically, like you like, you know what, I don't I don't really like what you do. For example, like there's some stage like you know, like boohoo man and all of them yeah. stuff. Like, I have that mindset. If they like approach me, I would, I would like reject them, cause like so I heard like mad stuff. Like, I heard like the owners are Pakistanis. You know, they're Muslim, but they treat their um, workers like oh, all of that right, so right, stuff. Right. Like, just normal morals and that. Like, I don't like that. And why would I be promoting a company that mm. they don't treat the workers right? And end of the, the workers are Muslim, bro. They are Muslim brothers and sisters. Yeah. So stuff like that, bro. Like, you mean they're the ones who make the clothes. Who make the clothes like back in the factory in yeah. Pakistan and that. Yeah, yeah. So end of the day, that's my mindset. Like, I'm not gonna wear something that our people are suffering to make. And yeah. you know I'm trying to say, so that's my mindset. And money is nothing, bro. So I have that mindset. So some companies I would like reject. Yeah. I wouldn't just, for example, if Gymshark came to me now, offered me a couple of bills, I won't take it. I'm like, what's a couple of bills, but I'm yeah. worth more now. Stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Sometimes you have to know your worth, yeah. know your morals, you know, know what's right and wrong. For example, like Boohoo Man, because I know some brothers, mashallah, that are doing good with them. Like, they're getting a couple of bags a month, like with Boohoo Man. Yeah. But then me, I'm like, a couple of bags, but again, I'm promoting a company that's 
think it, like you know doing wrong to our brothers and sisters is it mm. worth it it's yeah. not worth it man so some stuff I would that's like, like most companies though that's yeah, if man, you look at sad. any co- clothing company if, if you follow sad, the man. even Nike bro any, yeah, all of them bro it's mad isn't it so that's the hard like, yeah. like thing in the western world man so it gets hard so yeah I won't always like say yes 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 like you, you kind of have to now I'm on stage I'm going to look like who I want to work with who, look who I'm going to promote what brand is good for me? What brand would help me as well? It's not all about helping them. My mm. brand has to help you as well. Yeah, of course. So you have to look at like that in the long term as well, inshallah. So yeah, right now for it was literally like sponsorships and as you said, every imagine six months went by, it would be another one eventually. Alhamdulillah, so far that's how it's been for them. Because you know, sometimes like, only from last year I start getting that. It's been only a year, alhamdulillah. Okay, alhamdulillah. So right now, so all of that. So right now, my main income is literally like um, I do online coaching. I sell personalized programs. So all of that stuff, alhamdulillah, I'm surviving for you, that. How are you selling them? You got a website? No, nah, literally, bro. Um, On my Instagram. online For my online coaching, I got like a link, like a website. They literally, it's like a Google form. So literally tap on it. They inquire on the form. Mm. And obviously I see the handle, I approach them, set a deal, send the deals, that's it, khalas. The how program. Often, how often do you think? Oh yeah, that's easy, the program. Bro. So that, yeah, that's my, that's for my online coaching. I like how the T-shirt is strategically placed. <laughs> where the aura on. is. That's it, bro. You have to, man. You have to. So yeah, that's for my online coaching. So they inquire there, and then like, all the questions. And because sometimes people think it's free, so mm. that's why I put this out, out there. So look, that's why I make sure I put. Would you? Are you willing to invest hundred to two hundred pound a month for your health? Right. If they say yes, that's when I know. All right, this brother is serious. Okay. And when they say no, I automatically know not to waste my time with them. Right. Yeah. That's it. Because certain time. Alhamdulillah, I'm at a stage now, people just, they just want to have a convo with me. Yeah. But how many people are you going to talk to? Just yeah, in general? of course. And yeah, the DMs yeah. are flooded. So, like, if I did have the time, Trust well, man, I would. I know yeah. the pain, bro, man. It's mad, Bare man's on the DM. <laughs> 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 uh, you know, 15 man trying to yeah, chat to me. Yeah, yeah, it gets like that, bro. You only got time for, like, three months again. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it, like, so. come on, man. It gets like that. So, yeah. I understand. I'm I'm the bro, literally, I can't leave my house, bro. Yeah, mad, Those three guys are just, like... Yeah, it's mad, bro. Posted, bro. Yeah, yeah posted, hey, man. Bro, I gotta look out. Oh man, it's them, there, bro. Them three brothers at Jumma, innit? And mine, this bro. is probably some random guys just walking around, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, you just start getting gassed, innit? It's the fox, bro. What are you talking about? Bro? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but we, we it's just deep, bro. Do you ever get like recognized on road? Um, yeah, man. Is it like, like, bro, like the most overwhelming one? But like, it was, I felt blessed, man. It was Palestine. No way. I was in Al-Aqsa, bro, and Palestinians coming up to me and that like, taking pictures and that like, like we know oh, you, wow. it's one of Palestine. I was in, bro, I had my second comp. It was in Spain, but it was a dead town. It was called Murcia. Some next town, but no one ever heard of in Spain. I had four Moroccan brothers approach me. Four Moroccan oh, kids. Man. So Spain, um, Istanbul, Marrakesh, Agede, obviously. So you've been quite a few places, yeah, Every like. country, I think almost every country I've been to, alhamdulillah, I've been recognised. So the travelling part of it, is it part of your, the that's competition? Just, that's just a hobby, bro. Oh, so you just travel, I yeah. thought you were going competing. I do, though, I did. I did one international comp that was in Spain. Okay. So that was my second comp. It was in Spain. So that was like again, I had sponsorship. They covered everything for me, and alhamdulillah, like yeah. Alhamdulillah, man. So I got like, another one coming up in Spain again next year. So inshallah, I'm gonna prepare for that inshallah. one. Such so, some comps are international, and some comps are obviously national. Like, yeah. It's hometown, and the most of the traveling is just with charity or it's just my literally like my hobby. And you know, I like traveling. Yeah, but I, I've done like um, Istanbul marathon. I've done like Marrakesh marathon. I've been to Allah Kenya. You're running, bro. <laughs> you know, bro, that was, that was my first ever running, like, running event ever, bro. Like, I never do 5Ks. What's five a marathon like, bro, man? Yeah, it's mad, bro. It's all mental, man. Is it? Yeah, I did half, two half marathons. And it's all mental, bro. Like, I'll be honest, it's not... Don't you find it? Because, you know, when you get heavier, bro, yeah, yeah. it mashes up your ankles and your yeah, knees and yeah, stuff, bro, man. Have you, seen those, have you seen a Blanc's uh, marathon runner, bro? Yeah, fam. There's like, a reason why they're yeah, not yeah, hench. Yeah, yeah 100. Isn't it? No one's seen a marathon I said, that guy's ripped. Mo Farah's bolo, fam. What are you talking about, mm. bro? <laughs> now he is. Yeah, now after retirement. Don't, didn't you find like like knee pain afterwards and okay, ankle? Because I used to kick a lot of football, yeah. so alhamdulillah. And that way my leg and joints and everything was like, it was yeah. all right. It was more like mental for me. Cause yeah. When did it start getting peak, bro? Huh? Like, like halfway, bro. The, what, what, so what, talk so half marathon your... is 12 miles. Okay. A full marathon is... T- like 24 sorry, something, isn't it? a full marathon is 26 miles, I think, I believe. Yeah. And a half marathon is 13 miles. That's right. what I think. So obviously, I did two half marathons. So two what, in the same day or? Nah, like literally separate. one day. But the first what, day. in one day? Nah, nah. The, I did one, always one oh, in one day. Right, two right, in, right. Nah, that would have nah, been a marathon. Yeah, yeah that's mad. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet. Inshallah, Sima, not yet. I'm not ready for that. But then, so you like running? That's, that's Nah, I don't, bro. I just do it for so charity, fam. Oh, for charity. Like our okay. fundraise. The charity they flew me out for free. Why not, bro? Like, let me. But can I say something? This is another thing, bro. Like, don't guys, don't don't. 
Can I just give you the money you not run, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, like real talk, bro. What? Can I just give you the money and then you don't run? Yeah. So but I wanted to. I just had oh, that. Okay, okay. Because like for me. Nah, but like, you you've given the money. Why do I have to run yeah, now? Bro, it's, bear, it's sad that you're not paying me, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Bear brothers done that, bro. You know what I mean? Brothers, I didn't run. But I had that. Okay, like, right, oh, right, bro, right. Let me just test myself. Because again, I'm an athlete, bro. I'm right, a competitive yeah, yeah. athlete. I'm like, yo, let me test myself. I've never done a 10K in my life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let me test. But alhamdulillah, it's decent, man. So there are brothers that raise the money, but yeah, don't go they don't and run. Nah, bro. Some brothers, when we was in Marrakesh, they raised the bare money, but they're chilling in the hotel room having breakfast. Because right. we're running, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it gets like that. Because you're not paying me to run, bro. Nah, it's a personal thing. Yeah. You don't okay. have to, bro. Okay, no one's gonna, like, even, you, you don't even have to feel bad if you don't run. Yeah. It's literally I wouldn't feel bad, bro. Yeah, like, I feel bad. I'll cheer you on, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there on the side for like 10 minutes just yeah, to watch yeah, you go by. I just follow it's a beautiful cause. I'm like, yeah. let me test myself. Again, it's for charity. It'll be nice. And that kind of came and go, I'm like, yeah, let me do it for the kids. Let me do it for the kids. I'm the love, man. It was nice. I'm the love. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's from the traveling side, man. So, last question. How many. It feels like we've been talking for five minutes, but I'm pretty sure. How long has it been? One hour twenty. Okay, I'm there. Just perfect, bro. So perfect, let's perfect. end on this, bro. So. Go on, bro. Oh my god, I forgot what I was gonna ask you, bro. Oh, um, comps. Competitions. Yeah. What about them, Mac? So. How like how do they set how, how do they set up, like how does it even work, bro? <coughs> Like what kind of lunacy so you guys doing? Like, yeah. So is it like pull ups until someone faints or something? How does it work? It does get like that. Sometimes. Serious. Yeah. Not fainting, but it's like till like, till failure. Till failure, bro. Yeah. Or like max. Have you got any videos of that? Dude, I think I have on my YouTube, innit? Yeah, like my YouTube. I so think we'll have... bring it up and we'll talk us through it, blood. Yeah. Hey, my... hey, can the CPU handle it, bro? Yeah, it'll be is it right, getting bro. techie? No, nah, no, nah, it's good, bro. So right. my YouTube is, the f- is my first ever comp vlog. Bro, Zach, you should know this, man. So look, yeah, the third one, that one, bro. That one. So go to the mi- middle, cause it's a vlog in it. So you're gonna see when we're training. Yeah, right there. Hey, bro, bro, go back to that beginning. Go back to the beginning, please. Oh, the braids. No, no, go back to no, not even the braids. Go back to the beginning. The beginning. Go back the to video. the beginnings, bro. Why are the recycling bins behind you, bro? You could have chose. <laughs> look, man, right next to the recycling bins. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> bro, literally, you could just move nah, this bro, way. It's time, it's Why you must show it raw, bro? bro. <laughs> like, so you have to, bro. Represent, innit? Represent, time, hamlets, man. That's Z, that's Z. That's oh, okay, way, mashallah. But yeah. Yeah, that was my first ever. Oh, you're in Birmingham. Obviously, yeah. that's why it looks like that, bro. Okay, fine. <laughs> 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 hey, big up Birmingham. Big up Birmingham. Big up Birmingham. Dirty town. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Oh, is that in the Birmingham arena? Yeah, that's the um, XL. I mean, not XL, so uh, NEC. Mashallah. So that was my first ever comp, like first ever. So I'll just go a bit more, you'll see it. Jeez! <laughs> Come on, like, so I keep going. Bro, you took bare pre workout there, bro. Yeah, bro, I was, I was high, I, I was, high, I was bugging, bro. I was like, I was like, I can just, see in the eyes. Yeah, it's mad, it was mad. Look, you ain't blinked once here, look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mashallah. There's our boy. Yeah, yeah. Shax is there as well. <laughs> and there we had like French brothers, we had international people as well. But why is the guy shaking though, bro? Yeah, it's my boy in there. He's a dead cameraman still. Okay, right, I'm scared. Allow him, man. So He's the doing... first exercise is literally muscle ups. Go to the exercise, Zach. Yeah, look, it literally says it there. Dead hang. So up. dead hang meaning yeah. you have to go all the way down. And you have to chill there to two swings. Oh, so it's not literally all the way down, literally right. down, but two swings. It's an extra three seconds and then one uh, max reps on under one minute. So you do that until failure? One minute, yeah. Oh, one failure, minute. Two oh. minutes, but till failure, basically, till yeah. you get off. Shout out to the shaved down pits, bro. Yeah. Because some mans are moving mad. Yeah, I guess like that. Yeah, me. especially doing pull-ups, bro. You've got a... Uh, shout out to Manscaped, next sponsorship, bro. <laughs> shout I'm, me. Trying to, I'm trying to let, align yeah, it up yeah, for you, bro. Yeah, I love my bro. <laughs> So yeah, okay, like... Okay, so two swings. Yeah, and then boom. Oh, man. That looks effortless, bro, but I'm sure there's a lot of technique yeah, involved, Yeah, it was, bro. man. It was very, it's very technical. It's the same with grappling and resting, right? It's very technical yeah, as well. Yeah, it, it looks like it, bro. Bro, when it's do you start feeling it, bro? Me? Back then, I felt uh, probably on the 10th rep. 10th rep, yeah. Right now, it wouldn't be as as um, hard. So what's the, what did they judge it on? Is it form and... Form. Four. Form and the, well, obviously the How many you can do? Yeah, yeah. So again, like push-ups. All together, I probably got about 30 push-ups, but they gave me like six more reps. 
Is that so weights? Uh, yeah, that's 20 kg extra. And how deep do you go? Literally out there. Is it so past the bar or? Yeah. Like just past 90. So just past, past 90. 90 yeah. Right. So yeah. So that's yeah, literally thing. that's how it is, bro. That's like, but different comps are different, innit? So like, for example, when I was in Spain, it was a battle. Right. And the recent one I did in Liverpool a couple of months ago, it was a battle as well. So, uh, so a battle way? meaning it was me and the other, my compared literally in front Facing of me. You. And right. his face off. And I took a big elbow. Did, but is it? Like, yeah, because the guy I thought, he was, he's a world champion. So he won it like a couple of times, like bare times in it. But Alhamdulillah, I took it as a challenge. Yeah, yeah, Allah, why not? Yeah. So yeah, like they're more intense, bro. Because nerve wracking. It's basically yeah. like, you know, fact, yeah, 1v1. Yeah. So that's them more like, yo. And these ones come like, you're on your own like wavelength. All you have to do is worry about breathing, technique. Whereas this one, you have to worry about speed, technique, strength, everything. So mm. Alhamdulillah, so it's different comps. So we're so more about that. It's a whole little scene, bruv. It's crazy, man. It's getting bigger, like, recently now. Because before I told you, like, four years ago, bro, the only person I knew who was doing is Shaq Sander. Mm. Right now, Alhamdulillah, bro, if you see like, the basin and see all the parks in Tower Hamlets or in, in the UK, London, bear mans are doing it. Mm. Like, we have bear youngsters in our area doing it, man, Alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah that's so good, that's, like, that's what we wanted. Like, we wanted to inspire the, the youth, you know, the young bucks to come up and do good for themselves. Like, we have some of, basically, I do classes, yeah, Monday, Wednesdays and Saturday. Um, six to seven one hour classes so anyone could just come join if they is need it, help I'll help them do you, uh, is it, uh, do you charge for that no nah, no nah, free bro so a uh, company so it's TGO big up TGO they pay me so for example now I've got like, different companies like TGO what's TGO so they're, they're the company that made the bar so oh, you, know the you know the red bars in Shadow right. they're the company that made it so how did you even, how did that even like so basically where the you know Shadow Basin yeah, yeah. The, the land is private owned by the church so on right. top is St. Paul's Church. Right. And the guy, yeah, he, he's an active guy, isn't it? And he's, um, his name is Michael. Because active means different to me, bro. So active meaning like he's As proper healthy. No, nah, no, nah, he's a proper, he's like, he's a priest, yeah? bro. He's a pre priest. He's a wham priest, isn't it? <laughs> the priest is short in, yeah? Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, he's just active, isn't it? It's wham, like, he's very oh, active. Oh, right. Like, I feel active, active in the normal sense. No, 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 active as in, like, not you know, on the he's healthy. No, nah, not on the street, innit? Okay. On the street, like, hi, <laughs> how you doing? You're right, you know, them things there. But yeah, but like, is he, has he got that white collar thing, is it? I don't see it, but I think he probably wears it, Is he a Catholic church? Yeah, like, they're proper, like, proper, like, you know, strict with it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, big him up the mic. Yeah, he fundraised. Because What's his name? His name is Michael. Michael yeah, Trainer. Yeah. Michael, yeah. But he fundraised for it, yeah. like 50 bags of like 40 bags, and then gave it to TGO, and they're the one who made the bar. Right. So right now, because they see, alhamdulillah, the thing we're doing with it, they approach me, they're like, yo, we'll give you this much if you do these three sessions a week. So what, what, what motivated him to fundraise for it? Why did he... I feel like, we feel like, because before that, I know during lockdown, we had that one bar, and bare man, they, they used to be like 20 man just trying to use that one bar. And I think he probably saw that. And that area we have, because again, it's right next to Shadow. A lot of delinquency, bro. A lot like, of, yeah, it's right next to Shadow, so yeah, we have a lot of youngsters yeah. doing gas, doing this, this, doing that. Huh? No, 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 not that guy, not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, I want to know what's going on here, bro. Which one? This one here, bro. Yeah, I have no idea, bro. That's in Marrakesh. <laughs> Any content they were using it, big them up still. Who's this guy, bro? <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's on the that's on the TGO page. Oh right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that is that from your trip to America? No, 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 no. That's just a random thing. That's just a random thing. That's a separate thing. Oh, okay. If if, if Mandem saw us do that, yeah, we'll get unfollowed. <laughs> <bro. laughs> I'm was trying to sort it, bro. Yeah. So yeah, alhamdulillah, man. So all of that. That's sick, bro. So shout out to that priest, bro. Yeah, man. Who, he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's done a good he's thing. He's solid. Man. So he's he's done that, and that's it, my friend. And then you you. They, they saw that you were using their yeah, bars. Bro. So they, so just they approached that. me. They're like, yo, we want to do these community classes. Because yeah. now they're linked to Tower Hamlets. Right. And obviously they're trying to get more funding from Tower Hamlets. And obviously, yeah. not used, but used, obviously we're doing yeah, good things. It's, so it's a good it's thing, a, bro. It's yeah. a win-win for both. Yeah, exactly. They're helping me out. I'm helping them out. And that way, a lot of young brothers are coming over. Like we had young brothers saying, like before they came here, like they were about that road life, in yeah, it, like yeah. drinking, smoking, this, that. And Alhamdulillah, they saw our Instagram, saw our YouTube. And you know, they jumped on the calisthenic scene. And now they train with us, man. So it's a blessing Humble. itself. So when you like realize you're changing someone's life in a yeah. good way, that's the biggest blessing. And that's that's what makes you think, all right, social media is not just bad. You could do positive yeah. stuff if you do it the right way with the right intention, man. So I'm the last the biggest and blessing. What's powerful cause. is what I like about Calis, you don't need any money. And it, and most of the bars are in kind of areas where Low, low social, economical yeah, kind that's of. Uh, sorry, man, I've lost all my English. No, I, I know what you're trying to say. Like, entire hamlet. Kitab, man, yeah. you don't understand. What I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know Mata Shesh, bro. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah, Mata Shesh. <laughs> 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 you get me? So, no, yeah, so, um, yeah, obviously, it's in 
think, do we have bars in our in, in our part, bro? Uh, do you guys live in some bougie ends? No, nah, no. Nah, uh, uh, so we've got so it's the thing with Hackney, bro. It's like Tower Hamlets. Yeah, man. you take one left, there's crackheads. You take a right, there's avocados. People eating avocado avocados. Avocados, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. It's one of those ones. So. Um, our local park, do we have bars, bro? They do, in the in the green bit. With that dead oh, red little food. Oh, yes, you? yes. We've got those wooden ones, bro. You know those um, the monkey bars? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's it, basically. Inshallah. Like, like, TGO, shout out. Shout yeah, out. yeah, TGO, yeah, legit, yeah, bro. Yeah, they're, out, they're bro. suicide now. <laughs> so that's it, man. So with the young brothers, that's what you're trying to aim on, man. And as we said, like with this stuff, yeah. doing workshops, is literally trying to build a movement, yeah. you know, keep... Like you know, the Muslims united keeps yeah. the young brothers united. Even not like in general, like everyone, just people, bro, just people, people, man, yeah, young people, yeah. just Muslims, everyone united. But with calisthenics, so it's, yeah. it's a fitness side, you know, which Humble is beneficial. Yeah. At the same time, implementing the deen with it. Like tell people, like yo, when you train, train for the sake of Allah, train yeah. for yourself. Don't train for the yet. So you know, don't train for this person or that person to think like you're bigger than them for, mm. with ego, with all of that. So that's our main goal right now, man. So. How many people have you got together in the uh, basin, bro? So literally, bro, the other day, we had a brother, his name is E.K. He came from the Netherlands. He does got anyone have normal names around you, bro? Nah, E.K. His I name's actually E.K., bro. Nah, nah, his name is Enes. And I forgot his, his Oh, Enes. Surname. Yeah, Enes. Uh, and his 100% surname. Moroccan, bro. Nah, he's Turkish. Oh, uh, flopped it. Turkish bro. from Netherlands. So yeah, big up E.K., yeah. Like, he came over and, mashallah, he's very known on the Cali- in the Candescendence game. He got like about over 200k followers on um, TikTok and like 150k followers on Instagram, 140k. So he came over and I said, then we got like bare man. We had a good like 30, 40 man in the base in training to him. So that's the biggest link up we have yet. So how many people do you have regularly on your Monday, Wednesday? Oh, like bro, I'll be honest, it gets a good like 10 people, including us like 15, 12, alhamdulillah, sometimes eight, nine. What about when it gets like today was? Bummy, rainy. Sometimes when it gets, if it's like minor rain drops, it's calm, like even we train. But if I get that like, proper heavy, heavy, then obviously you don't see no one there. Because then the day. But are you there though? We're there. We're just chilling under the shower, innit? Okay, you don't even. Like, uh, well, it's it's just, it gets slippery, bro. It gets slippery. And yeah. us, because we do like mad stuff, we're like, bro, we can't. Oh, I was, that, okay, that's, that's what I was going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me. <laughs> but have you ever seen some mad accidents, blood? What? On the thing? Like someone's doing a muscle up and he flat flew off the <laughs> bar or something. Has that ever happened, bro? Not like that, but we have seen certain brothers do mad moves on it. Like one guy, he's upside down doing a pull up. Like yeah, it's a bit mad, but it was no. But I'm ask, I'm asking you, like, f- epic fails, bro. Have you ever seen anyone like, like he's he's done a pull up and nah, like we see handstand, so you know handstand on the dip bar. Yeah, certain brothers obviously they go on the handstand yeah. and then boom, they drop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like literally, bro, it's like a meter. Oh, Jai, you're boring, fam, man. He's not even like that stuff. You know what? He's hiding the information. I know that. Nah, nah, I know nah, he's got nah. a couple of videos of man just stacking it on their face. <laughs> <laughs> nah, walla, walla. Not yet, not, not, not yet. yet. I'll keep you posted. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, that's not, 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 Obviously, not you're going to have to protect their identity and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it, yeah, but, like, uh, you can imagine I've seen some follow. mad ones, bro. Yeah, bro. And, oh, it's mad. That guy with his arms popped. Bro, that Ooh. was... And Imran is the worst. <laughs> I told him, don't send me these videos, bro. And he just sends it to you. He sent me a video of this guy. Was it you? The guy that was, um, um, you know, when you sit back and you you push the, the weights like this, oh, yeah, yeah. with your hand or with your leg? No, with your legs. Leg with your press, legs. Yeah. Leg press. The leg press, yeah. yeah. Oh, but he was man. doing it with a tractor. Oh my! And what it popped? Habibi, his knees went backwards, bro. <laughs> but I couldn't sleep that that's night, bro. That's some paranormal activity. <laughs> bro, imagine, imagine that's your knees and it went like that backwards, bro. Uh, I became elbows. He's the it? worst for any. <laughs> <well, laughs> Bro, I've, I've actually had to do. He's, it's bad, bro. Like bad. he's the worst. Do you even watch those it. videos, though? You just send them in it. <laughs> he's trying to boy you off, man. Like yo, watch this and get bro, cringed out. Literally up. cringed out, and I can't sleep. This guy, he, he's. I get panic attacks. He gets oh, panic attacks, bro. It's mad. That stuff scares me, bro. Yeah, it's, it's like, not if good. If I see that, I want to do leg press for yeah, the next yeah, few weeks. Yeah. I'm like that, bro. <laughs> Hold on, I'll just touch my knee every time I see leg press machine. But yeah, man. No, alhamdulillah, so far, we had minor injuries, but yeah. not any like stupid one. Alhamdulillah, so alhamdulillah, far. Alhamdulillah. So May far, Allah we'll keep you safe and, and keep you united, inshallah. I mean, and, with and, all of us, inshallah. Uh, g- g- give you, uh, you know, like increase your following. and. Uh, I mean, and even when you use man, you're doing good stuff, man, yeah, inshallah. We, we don't, we've got bare followers, bro. Inshallah, bro. Next time yeah, I come, we we've got too many. Bro, your goal should be 10K, bro, in <laughs> a few months, inshallah. 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 For, inshallah. New, for New Year's, it should be 10K. Yeah. Inshallah, we'll 10K. see. Like, Trust it me. Depends on the, but I don't want, hey, if you're a waste, man, don't follow the, the, the thing, bro. Yeah, yeah. Please don't. If you're here to support, follow them. Yeah, man. follow. If you're a waste, inshallah. if you're a troll, 
And you're gonna be negative? Alhamdulillah, come, so, yeah. no problem. We need those guys as well. <laughs> That's the first brother <laughs> inviting the trolls, fam. We want the trolls, bro. Uh, minds are no trolls, please, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna be deleting your comment every day, I'm bro. Gonna tr- I'm gonna start trolling you, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, that's, that's small, fam. That's, that's me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I'm joking. Oh, nah, I'm good, Barak but is there anything you want to tell the guys? Anything you got going coming uh, coming up in the next few weeks or to keep an eye yeah, on? Yeah, man. In- inshallah, um, next month, so January, sorry, January, I'm doing a little challenge. So I'm, I'm going Umrah, but it's not a normal Umrah trip. I'm doing, um, I'm walking from Mecca to Medina in 16 days. So I'm doing about um, 26 miles a day. We're taking the Hijra route, the Prophet Sallallahu and Abu Bakr Sadiq talk when they went from Mecca to Medina. Mashallah, so bro. Alhamdulillah, I've been blessed with that. It is for charity. Um, inshallah, it's going to come out soon on my Instagram. Going to raise five bags to build a masjid um, somewhere in Africa, inshallah. Yeah, so stay tuned with that. And then again, um, the, the basic movement, I literally started a few weeks ago. And yeah, what, what it's about is literally about getting brothers, you know, Muslim, young Muslims, you know, old Muslims, everyone together with calisthenics, with Islam, and just growing, bro, man, training together. And you know, showing what Islam is about, showing the brotherhood, the unity of Islam. Because when we're together, we're stronger. The Deen is everything to us. So, inshallah. So, stay tuned. And yeah, that's all, my people. And big up Mo, the brothers here, the grapp- the grappling with life. My man had to read it. You know. The grappling with life. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna give you one last chance, bro. Yeah. Read it properly. Big up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know I love that. He came so confident, and then he's like, "Cause it's side on, isn't it? He can't see it properly, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro." I'm a bit blind, bro. Yeah, like, like, grappling with live podcast. That's guys. it, Habibi. Barakalafik. That's gonna be a clip, by the way. <laughs> man, put me on the spot, straight, bro. Straight. Did you see? But did you see how confident he was? Yeah, he was man. like, "Yeah." So big up the guys. <laughs> <laughs> I need glasses too, bro. I love it, I love it, kid. Uh, but I can laugh, bro. You nah, know what? You the me, fact bro. that you even come down today nah, bro, and I, I got to make you tea, bro, and you nah, brought a you. boy. Ridwan. 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 A man changed his whole name, bro. <laughs> That's man, his name, oh, though. Man, man, okay, yeah, yeah. Ridwan. But it's Ridwan, isn't it? It is Ridwan, yeah. Or, or, or if, if I was a Mongolian auntie, Rizvan, <laughs> Kitabe, <laughs> Balani, Khoredi, <laughs> Bawadi. <laughs> well, shout, shout out to all the Bengalis, mashallah, bro. Shout out to the Algerians. Barakallah. And the Moroccans. And the Moroccans. The Muslim Umrah. In, um, uh, umrah. <laughs> umrah in general. And you're going to be in Umrah soon, inshallah. Yeah, I'm in Umrah soon, inshallah. Barakallah. And guys at home, if you've reached the end, Smash the subscribe and like button. Don't be a waste, man. If you're a troll, leave a, leave a comment. If you're not a troll, leave a comment as well. That helps with us. So I'm going to leave you and I'll see you in the next one.